should be live. Let me just make sure. Let us know in the chat if you guys can hear us at all. Uh, and then we'll get started. But it does look like we're talking already. Dave, hey, how's it going? What's up, everyone? <laughs> he says, hey, Dave. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to play some Manage the Madness 2nd Edition. Uh, last week, we streamed Cycle of Eternity, the one that's been played through to death on YouTube because it is the first one. And I actually watched a Fancy Flight presentation from like last year they did at GDC about the app and the stats and everything they've gotten back from Android, iOS, and Steam. And it shows over 50% of plays ever in this game are that Cycle of Eternity intro scenario wow. because they found every time a new player comes along, you go back and you play that one to show them the oh, game that, that and teach sense. them. it Because it's meant to have less rules in it, be easier, shorter, and all that. So people replay it a lot. And we have that's the one we've played like six times now, yeah. basically. And uh, so they know that. So they've put a lot more variabil variability in that one and some little... Easter egg secrets that if you play it so many times, that's cool. One in every ten times, some crazy different thing will happen in it that pe some people on the internet like haven't even seen, and they played it like thirty times and stuff. So that's something, yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, loud and clear. Dave says, "All right, awesome. thank you." Uh, okay, so we are just double checking our collection for those who are interested. The green ones are the games and expansions. Sorry, the expansions and the main game that we have. So horrific journeys and path of the serpent. We do not have in here, uh, but we're pulling from all those parts. Whoops, back, back. So we're gonna go main menu, new game. Uh, we decided that we are going to do another shorter one just because we only have limited time this evening. Uh, so we are going to do Vengeful Impulses. An acquaintance named Thomas Carvey requests the pleasure of your company at a dinner party. Among his other invitees, is the man or woman Carvey believes to be plotting his demise. Using the party as a cover, find out who is planning Carvey's murder and why. I'm Rob, this is Kyle, this is Melanie, and we're going to play this through here to the end. Win, lose, or really lose, or some people <laughs> win and some people lose. It could end anyway. Somebody can go insane and then have different win conditions and try to mess with the rest of us and stuff, so it could end anyway. We'll see. And also the app, based on the expansions you have, will throw different items different enemies different tiles all this stuff it'll make the mansion or the building or the environment different based on the different expansions you have which is kind of cool and makes it really replayable um but yeah so we are going to get to it here and all right so select our investigator so it's a difficulty two out of five so it shouldn't be too bad uh, and we said, I am playing with Carol Fern, <clears throat> right here, and she has six damage, eight fear, eight horror. No, what is it called? Horror. Is it horror is your stat, but fear is what you get? Nope, those are horror. It's all horror? All horror, yep. It's fear from Lord of the Rings, and that's why I'm thinking that's what it's called? Fear is from Lord of the Rings, okay. yes. Okay. <laughs> Action. You are another investigator within range. Flip one horror face down and discard one face down horror. Uh, or strength and stats and all that business. Uh, you guys can't see that. What am I doing? <laughs> all right, so here we go. This is our stats for those that are curious, but you'll see me rolling dice a lot, and I'll be telling you why I'm rolling what. Kyle, who are you playing? I have Jenny Barnes. She's got eight health. You have to move it slightly. Eight health. Oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, eight health, uh, <laughs> six horror. Action, if you have no clues, gain two clues and discard one horror. All right. And Mel, what do you got? So I have Gloria Goldberg. She's the author. She has seven damage, seven horror, and at the start of your turn, if you have no clues, gain one clue. And you can show that for me. Thanks. There's her stats and her picture and all that business. You Thank go. you. All right. So we have them selected. We're going to go to gain starting items. Uh, David says insanity. Insanity. Okay. I knew it. I knew sanity. it. I knew the stat was different than the oh. cards you get. Oh. It's your sanity, I guess. Probably could. Oh. Yes. Sorry, the terms just, uh, yeah. It's like different stuff. It's the same thing in different games, but then they use, like, based on the theme, like, they call it different stuff. Oh, okay. Like, playing Tainted Grail right now, and they, it's the same thing, exact same thematic thing, but they call it terror in that game. So it's like, I, I know I'm going to mess that one up a few times. All right. So we get the 45 automatic... A uh, regular item here. Oh, only one. Enhancing serum. 
Sorry. Oh, one clue per yeah. cluster? Yeah. What is happening here? This said it was two out of five difficulty. I want more clues. I'm just joking. <laughs> That's probably why we only get one. Well, the, the intro, maybe it's because that intro scenario is like extra nice to us. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. makes it extra Maybe easy. they want you to succeed. So, enhancing serum, fine clothes. Fine clothes. What? Oh, they can be guys or girls. Oh. That's like, the, why is it split in half there? <laughs> Depends so, on who you are. Fine clothes. Roll one additional die while resolving an influence test. So, you know, you're, hey, look at me. I'm, who I'm, has low influence? Yeah, same on the other side. Uh, then we got enhancing serum. Action. Improve strength. Then discard this card. So remember, improve is yeah. getting that little token on your board that gives you an extra in that stat, which is very nice. Yeah, that little token. And then a firearm. Ranged weapon with four damage, a 45 automatic, uh, and that's it. Just got some flavor test. Flavor text, being a detective can be a dangerous career, but these baddies will see you though. Okay. Uh, and then we need the spell wither. Is that the same one from last time or not? Not too much like... weaponry here. <laughs> Just played this last Sunday, excited to see how you do. <laughs> oh, awesome. this mission specifically, or what do you call these? Yeah, did these? you play this Are exact these one? Missions or quests or scenarios? scenarios? Uh, wither. That's what I didn't know. That quarter. Of course, I did not. Rack. The spell, right? Yeah. yeah. The spell. All right. I have to look through carefully. There we go. Wither. Okay, so let's see what Wither does. So the spell Wither is a ranged spell with two base damage. Uh, as the spell takes effect, the victim's body withers and mummifies. Ooh. Ooh. I'll peek on the back here. I don't see any specific tests, so it's just going to do some stuff to us. Probably fun, bad, good, who knows. Uh, okay, and we just got our clue. So yeah. here's our items. How are we going to divvy these items up? How are we gonna divvy them up? So, um, two items basic or two weapons basically. Mm -hmm. We have a spell, and they're both range, which is nice. Yeah. But, yeah. Mel's really low on strength, but who knows if she's gonna be using strength? Yeah, true. For which one? For the enhancer? Yeah. Well, we're both at three strength, so that's pretty like. Yeah, but I have she's, two. she's at two. I have two. So. But somebody can improve their strength and toss this yeah, away. That's what I mean. Ah. Uh, but so then we that, all that's if she needs three. Her, you know. Oh. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. Well, one additional die while resolving an influence test, which might be yeah, good. I have four. Five, so. What do you have? Uh, four. Okay. Do you want it? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Rolling extra dice, love it. Yeah, no, uh, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Who wants the spell? Wants to have some fun with spells and wants a weapon. I'm okay not taking either. For fun, we can try to find weapons, of course, and then trade based on what's going on. But, um, yeah, how you know you want a weapon? He does. Yeah, Pick yeah, your weapon, I, and I I'll take the I just don't really other. want the spells. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You don't want these. If you want these later, we can. I can drop them for you. Whatever. If yeah, have some fun with the spell. I like the spells. They're funny. I like making the choices. I like bad things happening and stuff. But it's like chaos. Uh, all right. And is oh, yes, this mission, and he won't spoil it for you. Yeah, I oh. could click a little button here, have you banned and deleted from the <laughs> chat if I see you drop one spoiler. <laughs> and is all of our stuff on the screen that uh, they can see well? Let's find out. Uh, whoops, I'm not. Let me put my stuff down here a little bit. Give me some room. I'll put all my fear and horror up here. Last time I made that mistake, I was watching it back later, and I was okay. like, oops, my card was like way up here, so all my damage and stuff He's was He's getting hidden. blocked. Yeah. Okay. So kind of keep it close to you, and then we have more room to expand. Awesome. Okay. All right. We shall see what. Or we'll just. We shall see that at which dogs howl in the dark. Blah blah. It's the same thing, right? Okay. Oh. Shouldn't be. Really look at that though. invite. Okay. Thomas Carvey has a reputation for throwing unique dinner parties. Each of his soirees combines strange food with even stranger people. When his invitation came in the mail, your fir your first instinct was to toss it in the trash. But the personal plea on the reverse side, written in large blocky letters, caught your attention. Large blocky letters. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> now, God. as the car winds up the drive, your doubts return. Carvey's lavish mansion and fancy top, topiri, topiri, 
I don't know what that word is, cannot conceal his reputation completely. Your fellow guests are surely uh, some of his more infamous connections. People with only veneers of respectability. Carvey greets you almost immediately after you get out of the car. Oh, you made it. Right this way. He lowers his voice. Some of the guests have already arrived. You need to be discreet. This may all come to nothing. Still, my general policy is always to have an ace up my sleeve. So get in there and figure out who is trying to kill me. Ooh. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, all right. So we're going to continue. Okay. So let's get the board set up here. Uh, Mr. Carvey leads you into his home. Place the entry hall with the this expansion symbol. <laughs> uh, and hall two from the core set. And the wall is indicated. Okay. So we can grab that and maybe pass over here the second tile. Uh, they should be, try to keep the same expansion ones together, so if you can kind of quickly sort through until you see all those hands mm -hmm. right here. Uh, so you look through the corset one. Yeah, I'm looking for... I'm looking for entry hall. Oh. No, it's not this. Okay, well, that might be on the back. Balcony. Hall three. Attic storage. Problem when you buy too many FFG expansions. Kitchen storage. Kitchen. Bedroom storage. Hall Bedroom. two. Yard. Entry yeah. hall, we did it. <laughs> so I assume we'll be pulling from this expansion stuff. Okay, so I'll put so that. So I'm up. gonna slide this expansion stuff underneath. Okay. So maybe keep that one on the top. Then we know. What but to it search. pulls from everything, right? So it could put. Yeah, but this, if it's from a specific specific expansion, it's probably gonna mainly pull tiles from its oh, thing, okay. and then mix in stuff from other expansions because okay. it's like. Yeah. Yep. Walls. At least that's my understanding. Just be careful with it up there that you don't knock all those. Yeah, yeah, off. I know, I know. That one. All right. Uh, yep. Just the one wall, right? Looks like it. Yeah, it's just a block of door, probably, right? Yeah. So that means these are all probably gonna lead places. Okay. I have some fresh coffee and ready for this crazy ride. Good luck, you guys. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This is scary. This game's never crazy. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's perfectly sane. Oh. Okay. Right. You you follow your host inside and are surprised at the disarray. Several pieces of furniture lie on the floor, and it looks like a fight occurred. Place your investigator figures has indicated. See, it's the same generic little picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like, oh, I don't have those minis. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do, but... All right. So we have our first person here. Back under his roof, Carvey seems to slip easily into his role as host. Welcome to my home. Please excuse the mess. There is a minor... In in there was a minor incident earlier, but I will tell you, every, I will tell everyone all about it during dinner. Place a person token as indicated. This is Thomas Carby. He believes an acquaintance here is planning to murder him. Just in case you weren't sure of that. I kind of wish this game would say some of the things that you needed beforehand. There we go. <laughs> Right. Well, because well, when you have like, thing. I know when you have all of the, I mean, not everybody's. But I think they probably think like everyone buys the <laughs> yeah. boxes separate, keeps everything together in a box, and yeah. then like I don't know. Yeah, and not everyone's playing on camera either, yeah, so it doesn't matter yeah, how yeah, long it takes you to, yeah. to find the guy. A polite clearing of the throat draws your attention to a smartly dressed butler who is tidying the mess. Thomas nods. Ah, uh, yes, this is my butler. He is the only one in the house who knows why. Uh, he stops, looking around briefly. Well, my butler can also help with anything you need before dinner. Place a person token as indicated. A day planner has been set on the side table. Place a search token as indicated. Bring out all the dice. I got it. I know yeah, I will. I will. I will. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. Should be already. My bad. A thin piece of parchment has been framed on the wall. Place a search token as indicated. And you can also put some of the tokens like down the corner here, yep. and then Kyle can grab at them too. They're just double-sided, a few of them. Uh, through that door is the dining room. You can find Miss May Nguyen uh, enjoying herself in there. Place an explore token, as indicated. Through that door is the library. Leland Williams is likely reclining in there. Place an exploration token, as indicated. A lot of people. Yep. Yeah. Memorize them all, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Through the doors, through those doors is the lounge. Mrs. Elizabeth Fairview right is here? in there worrying about what is on the menu. Hmm? She has a very advanced palate. Thomas smiles. No, also, just, what's up? Just keep going. Wait, uh, one of these. Another one? Yeah. 
Oh. There's lots of room. Wrong, oh, wrong one, wrong one. one. Sorry. This one. So through those doors and lounges, Mrs. Elizabeth Fairview is in there worrying about what is on the menu. She has a very advanced palate. Thomas smiles. Also, I believe young Mr. Darcy is trying to avoid so, small talk in there. I guess that's saying it's the same room. Yes. The top. Oh, yes, yeah, correct. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be like one big uh, square. One of these ones, probably. Yeah, yeah. okay. okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Place next floor. Okay, we did that. Yeah, there's Another two one? people in that room, so it's obviously a bigger one. Over there is the conservatory. But if you care to mingle, you will not find anyone there. Place and explore tokens indicated. So he's warning us, don't waste your time running around in the observatory. Yeah, but there could be other cool stuff in there. Yeah, there always is cool stuff everywhere. <laughs> That's what's a distraction and we run out of time. You notice the door card he has failed to mention. Place and explore tokens indicated. What? I didn't notice the door either. <laughs> well, there isn't. <laughs> there's no door there. What is he talking about? Carvey gestures you closer to him. Now dinner will be starting promptly at 7, so you only have a little time for mingling before dinner. After dinner, you'll be able to talk with them more and really understand my concerns. Also, while I appreciate why you're here, please have a certain level of discretion. That means no ransacking my house in front of my guests. I have seen your type operates. How your type operates. <laughs> okay, good to know. What time is it now? Like how much time do we have? Basically, it's telling us don't waste your. Do we actions. arrive at six? Listen. And we only have an hour, or do we have two hours? Because we got there at five. <laughs> so confusing. Oh gosh. Okay. Basically, it's saying don't waste your actions rummaging through stuff like you would normally do. Just go talk to people. Chat them up. Yep. Chat them up. Act like you're at the party. All right. Thomas Carvey has hired you to find which among his four dinner guests is attempting to kill him. So mm. Four guests. Okay. In One, exchange for two, your assistance. Three. There's two in this room, I think it said. We, we can go reread, because you are obviously not paying attention. Oh, my God. You're too busy worried about which red tokens go No, right. I was trying to remember. This is Miss Nguyen. <laughs> this is Miss Elizabeth. This is Fairfield. Oh, Somebody's up Fairfield. here, right in this. Where's Darcy? Where's Mr. Darcy? Right here. You liar. I'm just joking. I, <laughs> I think he's over here with Miss Elizabeth. All right. In exchange for your assistance, he has promised to pass you information on some of his more suspicious contacts. In order to save his life, you must mingle with the other four invitees to learn more about them. Investigator Fanny. Okay, throw some on your side. Awesome. Okay. okay. So, first things first. Where are we going? Maybe we, we should just tell this guy to leave the house while we investigate. Okay, so we can poke around here. We can see this was... We can talk to him, right? This was the door of the conservatory. There was nobody in there, he said. Yeah. Well, he's basically saying don't go in there. He's kind of warning you against it, and then there's some other room oh, he didn't mention. Oh, so, so we basically have to go to him last? Tell Maybe. me about the suspect. So it's like kind of like you're checking in with him? Well, he might just talk to you about the different people and say so-and-so, 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 right? Yeah, 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 yeah tell not, me about the people yeah, that's here. Not the other way around. Yeah. But he's checking his watch. He wants you to hurry. Uh, so over here that's is, uh, yeah, May is over here, one of the guests. And then up here is Leland Williams. So that's a separate room. That's, these are not connected. And then there's over here uh, Elizabeth Fairview and Bruce Darcy. Mm. Okay. Interesting that they're all not together. What was the top one again? It's a uh, secret that was room. Like a door he mentioned that, you know. He didn't tell us about it. Does not yet believe that whatever is behind this door is relevant to the investigation. So it's like it's teasing you, like yeah. it might be some shortcut to the scenario that maybe you find a clue that tells you one of these people is for sure not the person like it might eliminate somebody okay okay who's going first i don't know mm. we can go through here right yeah that's not a line just these, oh these, oh it's just the yeah it's, it's just, just the, the border. border okay um i'll go first okay where are you going? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to... Who is me? This one. I'm going to move. So I'll do one move. No, no. You're already in that space. We just oh. we described there's two spaces here and two spaces oh, here. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, okay. Ignore the cool tile on the floor. Yes. This is distracting me. Uh, I will investigate this room. Okay. So to the east. You're going to go talk to May in the dining room. Yes. Explore. All right, so we need the dining room from the expansion tiles. Okay. Should be in the top, like, five or six there. I think I saw it with the kitchen. I think near the kitchen. I got that just that time. Because remember, some are outdoor and indoor. And... 
there's more with that symbol on it. Like you should only be worried about the ones with that symbol. Well, these the, ones the don't even have the hand symbol on them. Yeah, so. What? Oh, this one does. Okay, hold on. Bedroom, attic, balcony. So for a table with three chairs. I don't see it. Right there. Dining room. Four. All right. Don't see it saying to place any walls. This disappears. So a young woman mixes well, a drink. Okay. So find the red bordered young woman. It's the girl from the cover of the art. Oh no! It's uh -oh. her. Get her. Uh, place a personal because indicated this is May. Nguyen. 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 Yeah. Nguyen. Okay. One of your suspects. And then a strange amulet on the side table catches your eye. Place a search looks indicated. Mm -hmm. uh, something has been forgotten underneath the table. Place the search token is indicated. Ooh. Oh, another door leads to the kitchen. Place an exploration token is indicated. You may move one space in the explored area. Okay, I will. Okay. So then my second action, I will talk to her. All right, let's see what she has to say. So she swirls a drink in her hand. You're going to greet her. I would like to, yes. Well, hello to you, too, she grins and raises her glass. Now it appears to me that you are not having nearly enough fun at this party. Hold on just a moment. May opens a drawer in the coffee table, revealing an assortment of bottles. Hmm. She mixes you some kind of concoction made from several liquids. Now this is what makes a party. Here, try it. Do you drink uh, it straight? Uh, or, that's illegal. It's a prohibition. Um, well... <laughs> Interesting dilemma. <laughs> Everyone likes to have a drink at a party. Uh, I smell some horror. I smell some horror. Happening I feel here. like if you're mixing <laughs> bottles, that could be deadly. Well, you don't trust her. You think she's one of the ones trying to kill him? And she's going to try to kill you first. But if I say that's illegal, is she going to be we mad can at me? This just us, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have one turn to <laughs> If I say it's illegal, do you think she's going to be mad at me? Of course. And if I drink it, she then she's going to poison time, me. just time, like, making it. Yeah, you're, trying to, uh, you're trying to find more out of these people. you might, you got to play nice. you got to mingle. She yeah, thinks you're not I'll, having I'll, enough fun, so she wants you to have fun. I'll drink it. I want you to drink it, but I think it's bad. I'll drink <laughs> it. I'll drink it. Let's see. Rule of 4376 of surviving in a horror film. Never talk to people in strange rooms. <laughs> yes. And never drink yeah. a drink yeah, you don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to I'm gonna drink it. Right. Ooh, let's hope it's good. Whatever she has put oh. in this drink, it certainly burns. You gotta test your strength. That's terrible because oh, I only pop the card to increase your strength. Not, not yet, no. But I didn't think I was well, gonna that's have an to. Action. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, well I only rolled two, so I'm likely gonna. Oh, two. All right. See okay. if you can handle the whiskey Ooh, or the I... the moonshine. Oh. Oh. It is whiskey. You're down and Juicy. it may let out a whistle. All right. Well, look. Will you look at that? Finally, someone who can keep up with me. Tom has been no fun at all lately, spending all his time out in the conservatory of his. In that conservatory of his. Tom is the owner of the house, right? Uh, Tom Thomas Carvey? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then he said there was nothing of interest in the conservatory. Well, well he spends all his time, spends all time, time there. there, so oh. what's he doing? He's hiding something. Exactly. So he's going to have some great tomatoes one day, I'm sure. <laughs> Here, he will not miss this. Gain the whiskey common item. Yes. I think that works as a weapon, uh, right? That's me. You, you can drink it. To help uh, you with horror or something. And discard then up to two face down horror and then flip this card. And then when you flip it, it's a broken bottle. You smash the bottle um, and it's a melee weapon with one damage. Nice. That's Beautiful. awesome. Beautiful. Okay. Now, what can I help you with? Oh, that was that. Okay, so I still get more here. Uh, um, let's ask her about herself first because then she may be more willing to open up to me. All right. So you want to say, can, can you tell me about yourself? Yes, please. Or how do you know Kirby? No. Yeah, first one. All right, me? Oh, well, I do love talking about myself, though it will be up to you to tell the truth from the extravagant lies. Extravagant lies or I'm up for the challenge? Hmm. Extravagant lies. Oh, yes. Just ask Tom about the time we attended a party and convinced all the other guests I was a princess from halfway across the world. I got to eat all the best food first. Oh, but I am telling you too much when we have only just met. I need to save some of my charming conversations for dinner, at least. Gain one clue. Yes. 
Perfect. Okay, well, that is my turn. Did you get enough info from that? Does that help you determine if she's a killer or not? No. Uh, well. Can you click on her again? Yep. Just to see what... So now you have other options. So there's like little chat trees here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I just want to see what they were. Maybe sips from her drink. Yeah, I feel like we're going to have to talk to these people multiple times yeah, yeah, to get so. all the information. But I think there's like, maybe talk to other people, they'll give you some info, and then that may change when you go back to that person. Like, what's, yeah. So splitting up and talking. Yeah, to different people is going to be yeah, good. It's going to help. And maybe finding an item, like maybe somebody will give you an item that then you go to the person with that item and now they'll give you like, oh, you're in the click. Oh, you got that item? Okay, I'm going to tell you the truth now. Yeah. Stuff like that. <laughs> like I picture that's what it could do. Okay. All right. Who's next? Uh, Kyle, you wanna you wanna go go pick a room, go talk to somebody. Can you um, just click on the butler? What are the? Oh yeah, the butler. Oh yeah, the butler. The, the butler has begun to tidy the foyer, writing uh, okay. oh. the overturned furniture. I'll go there. I'll see the butler. Okay. So, you're so you moved one. one. I moved one, and I'm gonna talk. So what are you gonna ask him? What happened here, uh, or what is through that far door? <laughs> um, ask him about the far door. Mr. Carvey's office. It is kept locked during dinner parties as it contains documents relevant to his work. You are invited to enjoy the lounge or library while you await for dinner, of course. Gain one clue. So, he's so, saying, so can, you, can you click on the door, though? Like, so you continue. Well, he's kind of hinting at stay away from the office and you should be going to the library or the lounge. And I think the lounge is over here. The library is to the right. Well, he's saying it's locked. I just want to see what happens when you click on it. So that like the, no, no the, that one. Yeah, yeah that uh, one. this is a conservatory. I think he's oh, talking about this far one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, that yeah. is. So that, that's the office he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The office is up there. That's what I think. And that's where he keeps his the far door. secrets. Remember it said this far door that you didn't mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this is a conservatory. I know. So you still have the, one. The, well, I still have one what? Move. Because you only moved once. One and then you interrupted your move. Move so. back? I don't know. It depends on yeah, if you want to stay there or if you want to be closer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I will go. Uh, let's do. I'll move one into the same space as you. No. Oh, are you going to open this door? Well, I was debating. It's closer to open that door. Yeah, but he's right there, so he can do oh, it Oh, I too. see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. So I might go for I, that door. That was my plan was to. So let's do one, two, and then I'll explore this one in the back. Which I think you can get to from here also. That's the thing. So it's like Well that's good then. We'll see. But I know there's two people in this room, so I know it's gonna take extra actions in there. Carvey mentioned this was the door to the library that Leland Williams, one of the guests, was in here. So go look for Leland. You probably need him. <laughs> I don't know explore. what he looks like yet. Uh, so oh. we need the library is well kept. The shelves are neatly organized and the room smells faintly pol of polished wood. Discard this explore token and place the library tile and wall as indicated. Sorry. What? Here's the wall that goes with it. On the right. that one over there. Oh, yeah. Leland, I don't know what he looks like yet. Okay. And then we need a wall token. Done. Oh, it's right here. Throw the wall down on the bottom block in that door. Uh. A stately man drops down notes in a small notepad. Place a person token as indicated. This is Leland Williams, one of your suspects. Okay, you can keep going. It's just going to take me a second. Okay. Uh, now we need an, an ancient tome lies in a glass case. Place a search token as indicated. It's with all these ancient tomes just lying around everyone's house. You know, right? Everyone's worshipping uh, evil demons. A familiar cover on one of the books catches your eye. Place a search token as indicated. Just give Kyle a bunch of tokens so he can, uh, he knows what he's doing now. You may move one space into the explored area. Oh yeah. Still looking for Leland. All right, I'm done my turn. Oh, that is creepy. We're all done our turns, yep. right? Yeah, well done. Okay. Not Leland? No. Nope. And the investigator phase, confirm. So mythos phase. Jenny Barnes hears a strange deep voice calling her name. You're Jenny? Ugh. So you're gonna test your <laughs> will looking for two so roll two dice. Uh, three dice. Three, three dice. dice. Looking yeah. for a two pass. And Leland was in this room, correct? Yep. Yeah, right beside okay. you. Uh, one. So you got one, but you need two to pass. Yeah. You can spend a clue token to change one of those that. investigation results into Sorry. a success. That's okay. okay. Just keep tokens in the corner here, and you can always like, pull from them. You don't just need to put them okay. in the box. Okay. If she passes, Jenny Barnes resists the urge to look around or answer the voice. If she fails, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Did you pass? I missed yeah, it. Yeah, he, he passed. Okay. It's been a clue token to do it. 
All right, that's it. We're good. Okay. Hey, Shomar, what's going on, buddy? All right. So, what do we want to do here? I know I want to talk to the guy Leland in that library. Yeah, go ahead. Because if you go first, then it might give us more information when we're talking to people. True. All right. Yeah. So I'll go first. Yeah. Let's investigate Leland here. Leland Williams jots notes into a small notebook. Greet him. Leland trucks his notebook, tucks his notebook into his pocket, then shakes her hand. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, I can ask him, can you tell me about yourself? Or how do you know Carby? It's a common question. It's the second time that's... Well, Let me it's probably that. the same for all of them. Yeah. yeah, but like... But it's like, do you mingle with them first, or just straight out start questioning yeah, them and they the take thing. them off, right? Yeah, or, and or some... Or it could be, give you just what you need, depends on the person. Some people will be... All right, I'll do, can you tell me about yourself? Has Thomas thrown you in here without any intro introductions? I'm surprised. Usually his man manners are much better. He and I are recent competitors, but we have been friends longer than that. We have always had similar interests. Before he was attaining rarities for himself, he was buying them for me. How do you know him? Uh, met him at a club. <laughs> <laughs> or similar interests as well. Mm -hmm. Similar interests as well. Well, then I'm sure you and I will get along just fine. Say, has Thomas shown you any of his collection yet? You should take the chance before dinner to look around. The sword Carvey has on his wall is just one of the several rare pieces he keeps on display. Though truth be told, I am more interested in that book over there. I am usually the first to hear of new finds like that one. But he got it from right under my nose. Refuses to sell it, too. Which is a shame, because I know I could turn a profit for him. Gain a clue. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so what book is he talking about? This is an ancient tome, probably. Mm. It's locked in glass case. But didn't he say don't rifle around yeah, and there's people Yeah, your fellow guests would likely find it extremely odd if you acquired the book now. Yeah. So it's saying, it doesn't even give me an option to interact with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of these books looks familiar to you. Okay. Uh, I'll just interact with him again. He must disappear. Leland has point. returned to jotting things in his notebook. I can ask him, how is business? Or are you acquainted with the other guests? Yes. Yes. Hmm, the others? Yeah, I suppose I can help you out there. Bruce seems nice enough, but his father's a nasty piece of work. How far do you think apples fall from trees? <laughs> Elizabeth is a good woman, and it is a real shame she has lost her husband. You should make some time to talk to her. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, May. She is certainly, well, she is, how do I say this? You know, I could not possibly speak ill of a woman. <laughs> oh, she's no good. So, uh, <laughs> she likes a good time. <laughs> well, now, I imagine that is enough to get you familiar with everyone. Gain another clue. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so Elizabeth is who? Like the. Uh, she's in this room somewhere. She's in this room what, here. What was her relationship? Uh, did, did he say, like, message log. Uh, Elizabeth oh, she is lost a good woman. Her and it's a real see. shame she lost her husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should make some time to talk to her. I see. Uh, resume scenario. So go talk to Elizabeth and pretend like you know about her husband, and she'll be like, "Oh, you know? Oh, you, you must be friendly. Let me give you some information." Hey, Vinyl Rabbit, how's it going? <laughs> I'm just looking for Elizabeth while we. Guess who's going? Me. Oh, I'm there done. You go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, me or you? It's you can go next. Uh, go ahead. I'm going to open up this. So you're going to go and look in the room. Yep. All right. Carvey mentioned this was the door to the lounge. Now Elizabeth Fairview and Bruce Darcy, some of his guests were in here. Explore. Oh, it's a big boy. The lounge is full of fine. So you need a lounge with the octopus. So from the core set, uh, it should be on the top probably yeah. in one of those first view. The lounge is full of fine artwork and lavish furniture. Place the lounge tiles indicated and discard all explore tokens leading to it. So it's not just these two. All right, okay. ready to put a bunch of tokens on the map. Yeah, we're ready. So first, you need an elegant woman who sips a drink near the windows. Place a person tokens indicated. This is Elizabeth Fairview. I found these guys since I knew their names. Perfect. Then a young man is stunning a painting on the wall. Place a person tokens indicated. This is Bruce Darcy, one of your suspects. A large sword, which nice. was mentioned, has been mounted on the wall above the couch. Place a search tokens indicated. An assortment of picture frames has been arranged on a side table. Place the search tokens indicated. You may move one space into the explored area. 
Okay, so you have one. That is. That was, yeah, you have one action. Yeah, you have one more. Yeah, yeah. So you can move two spaces, you can interact with that guy, you can. No, uh, chat with Bruce? Yeah, I'll, t I'll talk with Bruce. Alright. Bruce Darcy strains his tie, his eyes fixed on a painting. Greet. He startles, then a nervous smile crosses his face. Oh, hello, it's nice to meet you. So, do you want to say, can you tell me about yourself, or how do you know Carvey? I'm going to try, how do you know Carvey? All right. Oh, interrogation. Oh, Thomas? He does business with my father, and we became acquaintances through that. He certainly acquires quite the collection of friends. Collection of friends, or business with your father? Let me do the father one. Bruce looks uncertain, and he glances away from you. You're, you attempt to set him at ease, so you pick something that he's not really happy with here. Yeah, that's fine. So can you... Uh, Five? Can you shake his hands good enough to... Uh, Five influence. Five influence, Five pretty, influence yes. Pretty good. One, two, three. three. Yeah, influence is good in here, I think. Yeah. The tension fades from Bruce's shoulders. Well, my father is in a very niche business. Thomas has been a great help to him in acquiring some, uh, rarer of the materials he likes to keep stockpiled. I should not speak too much. My father is very a very private individual. We can talk about someone, something else, or you the, can tell me more. Tell me more. I'm going to go full in, like... Pride, no, pride. no, I'm afraid I cannot speak of it. Please excuse me. Oh, oh you scared him away. Yep. You went too far. You pushed to too hard, man. <laughs> to try. Okay, my turn. Yeah. So, interesting. I will... Do I chat with her again, or do I just go into this room? Or investigate the... I don't know that I want to investigate it when they're there, though. Oh. Well, you can go and investigate the, that one. No. no, I think I'll talk with her one more time. Have I think we're, drink. we're friendly now. Have yeah. Another drink. We have had Just a drink a... together. All right. So you want to talk with May? Yes, please. May sips your drink. Having fun or no one else can be as fun as you, right? Yeah. That one. I think that she's... Uh... No one here can be as fun as you, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, come on. No one is going to be as fun as me, May Size, though I suppose I can tell you a few things. See, I'm getting in with her. Ooh, yeah, getting we're her friendly. all loosed up. Oh. <laughs> Bruce is always <laughs> nervous. Don't take it personally. He's kind of like those scared rabbits that are shaking all the time. You've got to be gentle with him. Oh, oh come on. Oh, look at you. <laughs> you. I should have went first. Yeah, you should have. you got to be gentle with him. <laughs> Not that I can blame him. I hear his dad is a nightmare. Oh, you went too hard yeah. on him. Elizabeth. Boring, but tolerable. She is probably in the kitchen, causing the cook trouble. <laughs> one word about Leland. Stodgy. I don't think we have had one nice thing to say about each other. Yeah. So they both said yeah. mean things yeah, about yeah. each other. See? No one's nearly as interesting as I am. Gain a clue. Very true. Very true, my friend. Okay, can you just click on her one more time? I just want to see what the options are if I chatted one more time with her. Okay, so we're Nothing. done. We're done here. Yeah, you okay. got all I need from her right now. Um, and what room is this one? I'm so sorry. Uh, oh yeah, good call. Um, that's the kitchen. The door leads yeah. to the kitchen. Oh. Where maybe Elizabeth is, but isn't Elizabeth over here? Yeah, she's a. She's just saying she's a fat pig in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my God. That's like what? Are, what is she all she's <laughs> oh saying? Well, doesn't it say she's looking for a recipe? What? Click on that. Elizabeth Fairview looks over a recipe handed <laughs> on the paper. Okay. Oh, just, I'm, say I'm, <laughs> just say it. Just say it. All about the food. Okay, I'm going to then just move one space here, so I'm ready to do that on my turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're all done, I think? Yes. No, it's you. It's you. You didn't go. I, I, he went first. I started just uh, interacting with that guy right away. Yep. Because I could only move to him last round, and then I started this round yeah. by talking to him twice. Which I don't know if he still has stuff to go. Sorry, there's some stuff there. Oh, no, he doesn't. So I did I did what I need with this guy. I'm hoping I can still talk to Bruce. I can't see what that says from there. I'm just talking about rabbits. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. End the investigator phase. Yes. Confirm. Mythos phase. Not me again. The sound of soft voices reaches your ears. This mythos phase affects the investigator with the highest observation. I have four. four. Three. So okay, so me or you. Um, I'll go ahead. I'll take this one. All right. So this is going to affect Gloria? Yes. Dolores, an unsettling chanting fills the air. So you're testing... Lore, lore. which I have four. Oh, good that you picked that. So lore, and you're looking for a two pass. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. So if you pass, you recognize it as an archaic but harmless requiem mass. It's okay. Not your, it's got some horror. Wow, I'm rolling way better than in our last game. Okay. 
Okay, so now do you talk to him, to Bruce and you'd be a little nicer? I could. If, yeah, I'll, I'll move across and try to talk to her maybe unless you can. Yeah, yeah. Do you, you, you want to start? Unless do you want me to open the kitchen. Do you well, care? Click That's on, what I'm going to do. Click on Bruce and just see what his options are. Maybe he gave up. Bruce just his glasses. Do you like these parties or will you tell me about the other guests? Ooh. Mm. Let's see if this guy's got anything new to say. Nope, he's done. And May is done too, right? But so, I think yeah. talking to other people might trigger something else from the other people, yeah. maybe. Yeah, so yeah, we'll yeah. We'll see. But we definitely need to talk to these two before we run out of time. So, because he was saying hurry up and he's staring at his watch. And yeah, so we got to like kind of talk to everyone and get back to him, I think, or somebody does. So, what's You want to go first? You or? Talk to, you're going to talk sure. to this talk guy? To sure, talk to yeah. Because yeah. that may change what we do, right? Do the glasses or do you, do you like, like these parties or will you tell me about the other guests? Do you like these parties? You gotta ease it in, right? Like yeah. Party. More than most I have attended. Uh, but the words seem to slip right from his mouth and Bruce flushes. I mean, many of these parties I'm fortunate enough to attend are quite lovely, and I would not presume to insult anyone. He trails off, running one hand through his hair. You can say, No, I understand, or that did sound bad. Uh, no, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm afraid that my experiences at parties. Uh, can be attributed mostly to my own ramblings. It was good to finally fall into a few casual friends. I hope you enjoy your time tonight. Gain a clue. <laughs> he's returned to sleep. Uh, so that's he's it. So we'll talk it. to yeah. Elizabeth. Well, no, I can't. He only has move actions left, but I guess you need yeah, close enough. Yeah, but go one, two. Now you're in the spot to talk to her next. Right? Yeah, because he wouldn't be able to do it either. One, two. And yeah. Then, yeah. Well, I'd do my whole turn to get to her. Yeah. But you, right. you just be there. Ready? One, two. Okay. Okay. Do you want to go next, Rob, or do you want me to go? Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's not relevant right now. Oops, so, here. so no one's searching anything. I know. I'm just thinking I might do that though. Dave Planner's gonna left something. But I might come over with you because oh, you'll be able to do two two actions on her anyway. Um, just seeing what my options are if I go. Where's the sword? The sword is in here. Yeah, in the, yeah. One, two. I might just go down to the front and talk to him. Can you talk to the butler again? I don't know. Uh, yeah, because you never asked him what happened. Yeah, you only uh, talked to him once. We get some info of who fought each other or whatever happened. All right, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go down that way then, and uh, so that's what I'll, I'll just go. Uh, so one, one two, two, and then one. Or did you want to stop here? No, you don't want to search. Actually, I'll stop here. Okay. Right. One, yep. two, three, four, and I'll just end here. Okay, my turn. Yep. Uh, what was this on this rug or table here? It was under the table, wasn't it? Uh, something under the table, yeah, something hiding under the table. Uh, you see an abandoned item beneath the table. If you're careful, perhaps you could acquire it before anyone notices. Uh, not really agile, three, but yeah, I'd like to search that. Search it. Yep, agility. Using yep. your foot, you attempt to nudge the item toward you surreptitiously. Okay, so my agility is three. Uh, I'll use the clue for one. Confirm. Probably not enough. You cannot easily shift the yeah. item towards you. Fail. Well, well, okay, I will uh, explore into the kitchen. Okay. This door leads to the kitchen. Explore. So now we need the kitchen expansion tile, whatever. This kitchen is warm and filled with the aroma of cooking food. Discard this explore token and place the kitchen tile as indicated. So flip with the checkered floor towards you. Okay. Uh, now you need a person token, the generic one. Carvey's cook is stirring something over the oven. Place person is indicated. Ooh, what does Carvey's cook know? Through a small door appears to be a well-stocked pantry. Place search something is indicated. You may move one space into the area. Is that your turn? Yep. We're all done. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. And the investigator phase, mythos phase. Turning, Carolyn Fern. Oh, Jesse, thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated. Ooh. All right, turning Carolyn Fern uh, comes face to face with the unexpected shape of a monster. But it is, in fact, nothing more than a shadow cast by mundane objects. Carol Fern suffers one face down horror. No well, negating. No chance on that, but <laughs> she has that ability to possibly get rid of one. But I don't want to waste that action right now. All right, Mythos face done. See if our team of women crack investigators can solve this. <laughs> <laughs> Just realize it's all girls. Yeah. So like and final rabbit likes taters. <laughs> all right. What does oh, that mean? He, maybe he's dropping clues to us here. Taters? Maybe he knows. Like I need to go to the pantry and... He's hinting at the... 
it's all in the kitchen. Or she's looking at a recipe of taters, so we need to talk to her. Yeah. Elizabeth, mm. what do you think? And the fight here was over taters? Maybe. All right, let's find out. Everyone's mad. All right, so we're, 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 talk, talk to Elizabeth. Well, yeah, but we're all in talking, so it doesn't matter. You talk to Elizabeth because she's all right, the one that we haven't talked to okay, her. Sure. Because the whole we thing, right? to this cook. Anyway, but listen, go, go, the whole go. thing was talk to the guests. Yeah. Not the cook, not the butler. He wants you to investigate the guests, okay. so that's important. Mm -hmm. We Guest. think, unless he's lying to us because he has secret rooms that he's not telling us about. All right, you're good? Yeah. Elizabeth? We're talking to her. Elizabeth Fairview looks over a recipe, handwritten on a clean sheet of paper. Great. How are you going to approach this? Nicely or? Ooh, kiss her hand. Oh, she turns to you with a smile. Excuse me. I was just looking over one of tonight's dishes. Gourmet cooking is a hobby of mine. It was right. now. It was how my late husband and I first met. In fact, she extends her hand. Elizabeth Fairview, charmed. Okay, kiss the hand. Kiss her hand. <laughs> Elizabeth's smile widens. Oh, I like Ooh. you. Oh. Can you tell me about yourself or how do you know Carvey? I feel like the second question is always a scam, so do the first one. <laughs> so, can you tell me about yeah, yourself? Yeah, can you tell me about myself? Oh, you are a flatterer? Asking a woman to talk about herself? Well, have it your way. What would you like to know? Ask about cooking or about late husband? Mm. Husband. Husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> husband. yeah husband. <laughs> My late husband was an amazing man. He should be here tonight. I am sorry. I am just not able to talk about this. Oh, wrong wow. choice. See? You're making all no, the wrong No, but that's choice. good. You learned something. He was supposed to be here, but he got murdered. Maybe. Maybe well, he got murdered. We don't know. I was going to say, did we know that? <laughs> all right. Do you want to interact yeah, talk, again? talk to her again. Elizabeth twines a necklace through her hand. That's yeah. a lovely necklace. Or what, what a lovely necklace. You must know a lot about everyone else. Oh, lovely necklace. I feel like she likes that. Okay. <laughs> Elizabeth smiles. Thank you. It was a gift from my husband. He kept telling me it was one of a kind, but he had gotten it at a better he gotten it at a better price from Carvey than from one of his competitors. Ooh. He was so proud of Tom's business savvy. He was always a great supporter of his friends, my husband. Gain one clue. So hmm. it all revolves around her husband. So her husband is friends with Carvey. And this guy does business too. They right? no, they're competitors. Yeah. Trying to buy rare items because Carvey got a hold of a sword he wanted, but then or no, he wanted the sword, but Carvey got it. Then he noticed he had a book that he that would he like wants. also. Yeah. So they chase rare items. Yeah, this so the, guy. So the husband got it from Carvey instead of the competitor. Right. Potentially this guy. Yes. Potentially. Yeah. So he, yeah and so this, this guy, together. his yeah. father, does business with Carvey. No, he, he finds the stuff to sell. So is his father He's, her late husband? No, oh, come on. The father gets the items. These two sell them. Well, he, he's the, the savvy guy. Thomas Carvey. Yeah. yeah. So he's, he's ticked off somebody or has something to do with her husband or this guy's dad or something. Uh, all yeah. right, we're going to continue. continue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm done. So you're done. Is there anything left? Nope, she's good. She seems happy. You've got enough. I never found out about the recipe. Okay, yeah. I can go next. I'll talk to... I'll talk. <laughs> oh, reset, reset. <laughs> I'll go next and talk to the cook in the kitchen. Okay. See what she's making for dinner. Lord of the Rings reference. Oh, okay. oh, the taters? <laughs> Love the cooks. Uh, the cooks busies herself. With, the cook busies herself <laughs> with something on the stove. I'm like thinking of all these guys chatting here. I'm like, <laughs> like Lord of the Rings, the movie? Now I'm I prefer the raw and ringly. <laughs> uh, what you're talking about? I'm talking about like um, when. Uh, what's his face? Gollum. They're talking about, like, he's eating, and I think, like, Sam and them, they're talking about, like, back at home, Sam liked to make the taters back in the shop. Oh. They're, like, and then, yeah. Okay, okay. All good. Talk All about right. yourselves, sorry. Any good gossip, or what happened to the foyer? Oh, so oh. you can find out without having asked the butler that I ran all the way to. Would you like maybe. me to maybe. not? Well, maybe I find out from the butler, you find out from the cook, and we find out they're if lying, they're and one thing? of them is the killer. I'm just joking. Uh, what happened to the foyer? All right. She lets out a loud laugh. The foyer, dear, I have been in this kitchen since eight this morning, preparing the roast for tonight. The cook lowers her voice and smiles. It is a particular favorite of Bruce Darcy. I think Mr. Carby is trying to make up after some disagreement. A disagreement mm. with Bruce. Would not be the first time, let me tell you. Gain a clue. All right, so we got a timeline. So she's been in there since eight. <laughs> How long does a roast take to cook? Sam's and and, and we've got to do this by seven. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. A roast only takes like three or four hours, right? If, 
So why is she starting at 8 o'clock? I know. He's, I don't believe he's, this. It's the 1920s. Everything took longer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, is there more options there? Yeah. Any good gossip? Uh, yeah, let's ask. Uh, the cook whisks the sauce. Yeah, let's ask about gossip because she might know something. Uh, no such thing as good gossip. The cook winks. But I suppose I can share a little something. Did mm -hmm. you know Mr. Carvey has a particular love of gardening? Spends a lot of time in that conservatory of his. See? I would not have imagined it myself just from looking at him. Gain one clue. Sweet. Okay. There tomatoes. you go. Go to the. Go to look at those tomatoes. You're right there. Uh. All right. Were you gonna talk to the butler? Yeah. What happened here? Yeah. See if he gets the same information. The butler's dull monotone is a stark contrast to the tight frown on his face. A gardener in Mr. Carvey's employ wow. took exception to a comment made by Mr. Carvey earlier today. He has since been released from employment. I would not normally speak of such unpleasant business, but I was instructed to answer any questions you might have. Please do not spread this around. Gain a clue. We're going to need these clues, man. Yeah, Something's going to happen where we're going to be doing tests. So the go. gardener found something in the conservatory with the tomatoes are supposed to be grown. All right, I'm going to the conservatory. <laughs> even though it might tick off this guy over here. Carvey mentioned this was the door of the conservatory. Oh, was the red stuff actually like tomatoes? On there? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of that looks up. like tomatoes. All right, here we go. Look. Sure. There's no, there's no, no blood. It looks like flower pots broken. Up. All right. Anyways, the conservatory is pleasantly warm and smells of fresh flowers. Discard this explorer token. And uh, place the conservatory from the core set with this octopus thing. Mm-hmm. Down here-ish. Oh, right there. On the back of this one. Oh. I'm gonna... Because that would be on the outside ones first. Conservatory. Okay. All right. Okay. So we need a search token in here. Yep. A pile of gardening tools has been left abandoned. Place search was indicated. And Carvey has shown a recent devotion to gardening. Perhaps if you look around the conservatory, you can discover why. Place search was indicated. Ooh. Like a glass door leads into Carvey's yard. Place a explorer token is indicated. You may move one space in the explored area. Yes, I will. And that's it. That's my turn. Is that all of us? Yes. Yes. And the investigator phase. All right. I feel like this mythos is for me. I haven't had one yet. <laughs> oh, well, you guys talking about the house staff doing things in different rooms. I keep getting flashbacks to the Clue movie. There's a Clue movie. There's a Clue movie? <laughs> I never seen it. Probably that. a great movie that uh, <laughs> we've all not seen it. <laughs> Do you have that on DVD? <laughs> Is there a me body in this story? A weed? <laughs> I don't know. Now I want to watch this clue movie. Jenny Barnes suffers one face. Down. Whispered voices drift through the halls. Jenny Barnes glances about anxiously, look for where the sounds could be coming from. While distracted, she walks face first into a wall. Jenny Barnes suffers one face down damage. <laughs> That's right, into a wall. <laughs> wow. You weren't even uh, the one drinking the funny business, uh -huh. though. Yeah. What is this? Thomas Carvey said dinner would start promptly at seven. You're running out of time. Question oh, the no. other guests. See, we said a timeline was important. But maybe other people are now, since we've started. Mm. Okay, now. No, there's Thomas Carvey, is probably the last one to ask because oh. he still has an action. Who? The what? guy at the door. This the... guy, Tom, like watch. The... The... Yeah, we've done all them. So it's just that's why I went down to the front. I was thinking of talking to him too, but you guys want me to check the stupid garden. It's right here. Well, we this. gotta go back. Tell there. me about the suspects. Yeah. Like, all right. So well, cool. none of us can. Oh, um, only Rob can get back there and do two. it. Well, I'm in the garden where well, you guys. Well, I, I can get there. I just won't be. Yeah, he's it. the only one that could actually do it this turn because yeah. I could get there but not talk to him. And, and then you want. Uh, one, two, three, four. You can get here, but then that's too late. No, also. we need to get here. Right. I know, but you're oh. telling me to do it. So then, who's gonna search this stuff? I want to search the sword. Okay, then you stay there. I'm gonna do the garden stuff first to start. I just want to see if it's worth even anything. It might change. You might need to not to talk to this guy if he's hiding something in the garden. Because they keep saying he's out there. He's always doing gardening. Yeah, yeah. Like something. three yeah, yeah, yeah. people mentioned it. Yes. So there's something here that'll probably tell you the truth, and he's not going to tell you the truth. Carvey has shown a recent interest in gardening. Perhaps by looking around, you will discover the root of his interest. Unfortunately, looking around now might fall under Carvey's demand that you be discreet. Not oh. fall under. Oh, it's just saying stop. Don't search there yet. Hold on. Let's see what this one. Pile of gardening tools has been left abandoned. 
but <laughs> do you need something to like Cutting. a weapon? Yeah, I'm gonna search. Digging through the tools, you find most of them are rusted and useless. However, just as you're ready to give up, you notice one thing still in working order. Gain the snub nose revolver. Ooh. Common item. Yeah. Got me a weapon. Weird that we have all these weapons and we have no... Because things are about to go yeah. bad and we have to, like, start yeah. killing people. Yeah. Something bad's going to uh, happen Snub nose revolver. Boom. I'm ready. That was worth it, I think. So he's hiding a snub nose out there and some gardening tools. That's what he's doing. But is that, I wonder, does he put that out there to protect himself? No, this himself? is not related. It's the other thing. We just have to wait for him to uh, be okay with us to dig around. Protect himself from the monsters that come from whatever that is. Yeah. So the snub nose is a range, two damage. Uh, you may deal one damage to a monster in your space when you forfeit an action while evading a monster. Hmm. hmm. Okay. All right. Continue. And you have one more? Yes. So I'm going to... Door? Uh, should I? <laughs> Glass door leads in Carvey's yard. Sure. You have a gun. Yeah, you're good. Probably just... Oh, no. <laughs> As you turn the handle of the door, a large dog comes shouting from the darkness. Barkley, barking wildly, places a person token is indicated. As you persist on opening the door, he barks. The barks subside into a throaty growl that causes you to step away from the door. Clearly, Carvey does not allow his guests into his yard, and you cannot fault the dog for doing his job. <laughs> As you turn from the door, you spot something of use. Gain Moon Potion, common item. Whoa, Whoa look at you. A lot moon of hidden potion. stuff out there. Uh, action, improve uh, your influence, then discard this card. That is a good one, which i got to remember to do before I start getting tested on influence. I'm done, my turn. Oh, Who's next? Oh, so this token stays? I guess, because it's still uh, there. Uh, is it still there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah just leave there. It doesn't seem discard it. So maybe there's a reason why I go outside later. Maybe I find something that can put a dog out of his misery. No, I'm just joking. Uh, all right. Well. Go talk to this guy. I can get there, but I can't talk to him. You want to do the sword, right? Mm -hmm. So then I'll just go first, and I'll do a move of <laughs> one, two. To and then a move of one, and I'll stop. Okay. It. Okay, and then Kyle will go. Kyle's gonna interact yeah, with the sword. Interact with the sword, or search it, or whatever. A large sword has been mounted on the wall above the couch. I would like to alarm the other guests. It would likely oh, alarm the guests if the you came and do anything thing. with okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go here and do this thing. Which is an assortment of picture frames has been arranged by us on a side table. Yep. Good. Bruce is very interested in. Pictures. In one picture, a man looks like he might be Bruce's father. Ooh. Introduces a nervous-looking Bruce to Carvey. Ooh, so there's a connection. That. One picture is of Elizabeth laughing. A handsome man stands by her side. His arm around Carvey as the two look to be sharing a joke. Her husband, yeah. One of the pictures is of Leland and Carvey sitting together at some sort of black tie event, both smiling politely toward the photographer. The last picture is of Carvey and May. He whispers something in her ear while she holds a hand over her mouth, obscuring her expression. Ooh. Oh, we're having an affair. <laughs> <laughs> These photos can be used to connect Carvey to each of his potential suspects. As you look at them, you notice a string of strange letters written in chalk. Perhaps Carvey will know more about these markings. Discard the search token and gain the photographic evidence unique item. And two clues. And two clues. Whoa, Whoa. look at you. See? Detective over here. Here's your photographic evidence. Is it doing Investigators just... may interact with the photographic evidence unique item in the after view. Gathered evidence. Any of us? It doesn't have to be just him who was holding it? Well, because you can't, on the app, you can't tell who's who, right? You found a series of photographs, would you like to review them? It's not an action to look at them. Oh. So you can just kind of review the stuff that, yeah. Oh, we just talked about the same. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, just linking them all. But that could have been information we needed before we talked to Carvey. True. Yeah. All right, so, and that, you have one so that was, all that it was moved. So I moved, interacted, so I can move again? Yes. Yep. One more space if you would like. Can I talk to Bruce again or no? No, not this You're out of action. So yeah. You, you did your two. All right. Anything else? Nope. That was all of it? That was all. All right. Here we go. And the investigator phase. Confirm. Mythos phase. My gosh, you've not seen Clue. We need to watch it. It's so funny. Or you need to watch it. It's so funny. All right. We'll have to watch it. The lights it. flicker, then die. Place darkness in each space in the conservatory. Uh oh. Uh oh. How many spaces uh, are in a conservatory? Uh, well, there's one. One, two, three, four. four. Can fix those, this sorry. mythos event affects each investigator in the conservatory. Oh, just you. Of course. It knows I'm in there because I'm playing with the dog. 
The sudden darkness is overwhelming. You find yourself completely blind. Test my will. Oh, five. Yeah, nice. let's uh, I'm ready one. for this. Boom, boom, boom. Got two. All right. <laughs> if you pass, you're, uh, you force yourself to press on using your memory of the room to navigate. We're good. A moment. Any moment now, the dinner bell will summon you to dinner. Okay, okay so we so probably we have like one turn left before dinner. Okay, let me go first and talk to T Carvey. Yeah, of course. Okay. Maybe he'll lead us to where we gotta go. Ta oh, he has new oh. stuff. Hmm. Oh, the new the stuff about the chalk on the pictures. So we could have been searching other things and coming with new new things. So let's do. Oh. I like this new one. Let's do the chalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have two actions. I could do both, maybe. Carvey looks around, then runs a hand through his hair. Look, this sounds absurd, but last week I woke up fully dressed, my hands covered in chalk. I, I do not know what those markings mean, but I truly do not believe I'm the one that made them. Then who did, or do you think they mean something? Do you think they mean something? Carvey buttons and unbuttons one of his cufflinks. Yes, I think they mean you had best to get to the bottom of this before anything else odd happens to me. <laughs> Gain one clue. Very helpful, my There's friend. no jack. Okay, so no let's clues. talk to him again about the guests if that's still an option. Yeah. Tell me about the suspects. You would find out more about them if you mingled a little, but very well. You are all dear friends of mine. They are all dear friends of mine, as you know. Carvey leans in to talk more softly. Bruce Darcy has bad nerves. I would suggest being careful not to spook him. We should have read all this stuff first. <laughs> His father and I had a bit of a falling out recently. Business ethics, you see. I do not remove my competition from this earthly plane. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Fairview is a wonderful woman if you're in her good graces. I'm generally sorry to report that I'm no longer in her good graces. A spot of trouble with her husband, best not to mention it. <gasps> Interesting. Leland Williams is a professional rival. He is a pillar of the community, at least according to him. It might be true, but the things I have seen that pillar do, well, I wonder what kind of community he belongs to. Wow. <laughs> May uh, Nguyen was not always the spitfire socialite she is now. I had to get her out of a scrape a few years ago. I cannot get into details, I'm afraid. Uh, there, that ought to be enough to give you a sense of the other guests. Now play nice, but not too nice. Gain two clues. Well, that's good. Wow, look at all the clues. Can we talk to any of the guests again? Like, did that somehow unlock I think they're anything? all still good. No. Let's see. So there might be, like, this book in here to look at. Like, maybe I should have done that. But, like, maybe we would have found something in there. Sorry. You can't even search thing. that stuff. That's what's the weird there, thing. There is. It seems like there's one thing to search and then one thing not to search. So there's a day planner. That might be important. What, what's in the top? Yeah. This you is something, don't, don't touch it yet. But some of these things we'll be searching after dinner, I guess, or whenever. One of these books looks familiar to you. Yeah, see, this book could be searchable. This pantry. And the table. The table thing underneath. But that may be just an That's item. just like a weapon, probably. Yeah, we can't look at the amulet yet. So here the day planner might make some sense. Maybe it'll show who had a, a date with who and who was meeting with who, when, and stuff. So there's three things we can search. That's so it. you're the first to go, right? Yep. So I will go... Can I do one, two, three? No, I can't get there. Can you get there? No. One, That's three, three. Yeah. I mean, you could get there for next turn. Still, right? Oh, this thing. Oh, should one be gone. is gone. Yeah, yeah. And the butler's done, right? Um. Uh, no, I think he still had. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's done. Can you talk to this, the main dude again? No, I think. Oh, we didn't click him again. Oh. Yeah. So I, I think we're good talking to people. I think just we may just have stuff three. we could have searched, just like the book. Might have something in it. The day planner might have some information in it. Pantry. Pantry is probably an item, I would assume. Tomatoes. Yeah, I think this is what we need to get to next. But how do we split? I'm getting out of this here, so... Yeah, you don't want to be in darkness. One, two, one. Mm. Unless... Yeah, I could... Do so we she's got to come... Oh, you already came back this way. Yeah, I yeah. can. Well, I don't know oh, if wait, I care. Oh, what was this agility? Yeah. Oh, I have two. Oh, you know what I'll do? Uh, I can go one, two. I have four I'm stop here. I'm gonna stop here, and then I'm gonna do my action to improve my influence, uh, up to five. So I'll discard this card, uh, the moon potion, and I'll get one of these improving my influence thingies. So boom, I have an extra. I have five influence now. Okay. And 
I totally forgot, and I don't think I've tested it. I rolled one additional well doing influence. I don't think you did. Oh, I, I think... could have traded that, actually. What's your influence? Uh, four. Four. What's yours? Five, five? isn't oh, it? Okay. Yeah, yeah so, you're okay. good. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right, I'll do one, two, one, two. We'll go here. Okay. Okay. Ending phase? Yeah. And the investigator phase. Confirm. Oh, well, that's oh. the dinner bell. The ringing of a bell calls everyone to this evening's meal. You and the other guests are moving toward the dining room oh, when the lights suddenly go out and the mansion is plunged into darkness. Place darkness in each space of the board like a crazy person. Damn. That's a lot. Then each investigator suffers one face-down horror but will negates. So I don't get it because I negated it. So here, you roll three dice and that'll tell us if you're getting a face-down horror. You are. So give face him a face down, down horror. horror. You're scared. Here you go. And yeah. one negates? Uh, yeah. Got it. Because we're only getting one, so you yep. will. Uh, an investigator in the darkness cannot spend clues to convert dice results or perform additional dice puzzle steps. Or additional puzzle steps. What's well, annoying since they just gave us all these clues yeah. that we can't use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now we can search. But I guess if we had everything? light source. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we can search everything now. Uh, that will be the fuse box I have been having issues with all week. Carvey's voice booms from somewhere in the dark. Oh, I guess we go. Hold on. Can we read here? I'm just <laughs> looking at the image, man. We can talk after I've been reading. Uh, discuss out loud. I'm excited. <laughs> that will be the fuse box uh, I have been having issues all week. Carvey's voice booms from somewhere in the dark. Just a moment. I will get it back working. It's back to work in order. Everyone find a chair and sit tight. Though you hear a... What's this? Cacophony. Cacophony of footsteps. Your eyes have trouble adjusting to the sudden dark. You lose track of the others in the house. Remove all person tokens from the board. Butler, Carvey. Uh, dog too, I guess. Yeah. This person token. Yeah. I'm just going to leave them all here. Yeah, of they course. they come back, I don't want to search uh, for them. Of course. A few long moments pass in the dark before muffled thumps and bangs come from beneath the floors. Things go briefly quiet, then a horrific scream pierces the night. With growing concern, you recognize the panicked voice of Thomas Carvey. Oh, no. Each investigator suffers to horror, but will negates. So I negated it. You are rolling your will for three, I think you have, right? <laughs> I'm just taking yours. Uh, you can spend... Oh, you no, can spend no. a clue. So you take okay. one. So wait, wait, but that was only when it was dark, right? It is dark. No, it's light now, because the fuse box came on, right? Fuse box? No, it's still dark, that's why. <sighs> Pass Hold in on, the dark. Somewhere deeper in the mansion, something has happened to your host. Find the source of the scream and restore the lights of the house to discover the cause of yeah. the first. No, no, it's still dark. So you need to... I know, I know. So glitch. you suffer one, but it's not no. face down. It's face up, so read what it says. What's it uh, every noise makes you startle and jump. Even your companions unnerve you. Keep face up. Whenever... You end your turn within range of another investigator. Flip one horror face up. Okay, and I am rolling four die. And I will get one as well. Oh, minor shock. Resolve immediately. No additional effects. Flip this card face down. Okay, investigator phase. Okay. All right. So the lights are off. They just don't show those tokens. Right. Yeah, I guess. Because the it's the whole board. I, but I they guess. just had them on there in the previous image. It's... Well, we got to find the fuse box now. Where's the fuse box? Uh, yeah, it's obviously a bug. Uh, I don't know. How do we get to the basement? <laughs> the door at the this door. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> Let's door. see. Let's the, go. the one last thing that we can really... This door leads to the rest of the mansion. Yeah. Yeah, well, that seems like a good call. So who's going first? Mm. What's happening here? Kyle's Thank playing you. under tables. Me or you could get there. <laughs> <laughs> so can we even search anything? Like you can click on something? Yeah, like, oh. Like can you even see that? Which scenario is this, guys? This is... Uh, the, the, um, <laughs> sorry, just give me one second and it'll come to me. <laughs> Use the DVR feature on YouTube. Scrub back to the <laughs> beginning. No, I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. It's the dinner party one. Uh, the yeah, it talks about Mr. Carvey, his guests. One of them's trying to kill him. I don't know. It's from. It starts the... with a V, doesn't it? Oh, don't remember. Oh my gosh! I'll eventually put it in the this title and description. We just we weren't sure we were playing it until we started streaming, basically. Um, it yeah. it sorry, has. Sorry, sorry. Um... Is it in the? It has one? this girl on the main screen. It's one of the ones from the expansion with like the claw-looking hand thing, I think. 
so sorry. We're terrible. Oh, yeah. Next time we should put that on the... What is Sanity? <laughs> oh, What's similar to the earlier one? Uh, I'm not sure. It's from an expansion probably like from a year or two ago. So, yeah. It's... I don't know. Uh, all right. So... So, it's up to you. Do you want to open that door? Do you want me to? We both can get there. All I know is I can't one, end my two, turn. and open. Yeah. So, it's up to you if you want me to open it for you. Uh, I can do that. What's within range? Uh, range is three spaces. Three spaces. Oh within God. the same room, but not, not through, through walls, doors. not through doors. Okay. I just hope All this right. thing so I will just go. Nothing. One, two. Unless we care about a day planner on the way. Oh, I can check the day planner on the way, too. All right. So I will that. door lease the rest of the mansion. Explore. Oh. oh. Our butler friend's back. You try the handle, but find a lock. Is someone there? Mr. Carvey? The polite voice of the butler pipes out of the darkness nearby. Place a person token is indicated. Vengeful impulses oh, from thank beyond you. the threshold. Thank you, Omni. I knew it started with a V. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> ah, Mr. Carvey's special guests. I was quite concerned. It should not have taken this long to get the lights back on. You can reach the basement and Mr. Car uh, and Mr. Carvey through his office. Please find my employer. Here, I'll unlock the door for you. The butler fumbles for a moment with a key, then opens the door and gestures you inside. Okay. So in the darkness, you make out the dim shape of a desk. Discard this explore token. Place the office from the core set, tile is indicated, then place darkness in each space of the office. The office, there you go, and then darkness in the office. And then we need a search token, a locked case has been placed on the shelf, place the search token is indicated. And then we need another search token, some papers and books lie on Carvey's desk, place the search token is indicated. And then we oh need this explorer token right here that I pulled off. And just as the butler mentioned, the door on the far end of the room leads further into the mansion place and explore tokens indicated. You may move one space in the explored area. Sure. Someone needs to go here to mess with this. Now that we probably can. I just thought of that. I should have went back. But What is that? It was whatever I wasn't allowed to touch. Oh. Carvey has shown recent interest in gardening. Perhaps oh. looking around, you'll discover the root of his interests. I think that's important. I can go that way. Yeah, so I'm just saying, well, you guys are down there still. Um, but then also there's the day planner, which we passed up on, but maybe that's not as important anymore. I don't know. But now we can search some of the juicy stuff. Like, let's see. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to search this because I'm, I'm can, right there. You can search the sword now. I know, I'm going to search this because I'm like right here. So I'm just going to do that. So you want Not I, the table, this thing. This thing? <laughs> yeah. So you're going to do it right now? Are you, is it, no. Did is, you already is, go? I didn't go yet. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. so move. Move, move on search. and interact with this. You don't want to kick a strange kick amulet is left on the side table. You want to search it? Yeah, of course. In the darkness, a figure approaches the cabinet. When you call out to him or her, the figure quietly blends back into the shadows. Oh, no. The amulet is smooth in your hand. You pocket in the dark, confident it will be helpful in your investigation. Gain the Elder Ward common item. And discard the search token. <clears throat> Elder Ward. Oh, this was a good one. Roll one additional die while a monster is attacking you. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sweet. They're setting us up here. Oh. I know you can move one more. No, because I don't want to end in range because then i got to flip this and I don't know what that is. Yeah, but and, she's going to oh, move away. I'm going to move no, away. No, but I can't end my turn there. Oh. Oh, I see. So I should have went first. first. Well, it well, it's yes, it does matter then. Why do you say that? So she'll, we'll just put well, it first. Well, this could be nothing though. We'll just pretend yeah, to go first. Yeah, I'll go, go first then. Then one, two, and then I'll search that. Okay. So now you finish your turn. You were gonna go here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's not within range because she's through a door, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So just do that a little bit out of order. Why not let me select it? So we're gonna search this yeah. gardening stuff. I know it's not really gardening. Ooh. You find a segment of the wood floor that sounds more hollow than the rest. As you poke and prod around, one of the knots in the wood presses and reveals a trap door. Discard this search token and place a secret passage as indicated. What? Where is it going to bring me to? Well, you got to find the other secret passage. It's our escape route. As you enter the tunnel, you swear you hear footsteps echoing through it. But in the dark, you cannot tell if they're coming or going. Among the noise, you hear something clatter to the floor. And you press back against the wall until the footsteps fade. As you creep along the passage, you stumble over something on the ground. Gain the cultist journal unique item. Oh, man. More cultist... Yeah, is there anyone normal in this this world? <laughs> Cultist journal. 
Uh, you may read the journal by interacting with it in the app. It's evidence. It's a tome. Super. The passage oh. is a cold and is cold and dank and slopes downward to the earth. Place a basement storage tile from that expansion, and then place darkness in each space. So see, that's another way to the basement. So I didn't need to run all the way up there <laughs> if I just did it with my instincts and wanted to check that as soon as I knew I could. Ah, okay. Oh, and then we have to get rid of this too because. Oh, there's the you merge in the cold, dark basement. Place a secret passage as indicated. Oh, uh, and that's in this one. And then the fuse box Carvey sought is against the far wall. Place the search token as indicated. A ghastly figure is slumped in the corner. Place the search token as indicated. Seems like some juicy stuff down here. Wow. Oh. Oh no. Thomas Carvey lies on the floor dead. His sightless eyes <laughs> stare towards the ceiling. And his body surrounded by candle stubs. He mm -hmm. appears burnt or shiver or shiver shriveled. Mm-hmm. Though you do not smell the stench of burning flesh, place the search token indicated. Oh yeah, no! <laughs> move one space in the explored area. Oh, so I can move up through. <laughs> Love it. Okay, that was my two actions. Okay. Uh, that's everyone, right? Yep. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. We need to get the lights on, though. We can use these clues. Gloria Goldberg feels a gentle hand brush against the nape of her neck. So cold that she shivers uncontrollably. When she sh when the shakes refuse to stop, Gloria Goldberg realizes her skin is burning with a terrible and inexplicable, f inexplicable fever. Gloria Goldberg suffers three face down damage, but strength negates. Then she becomes mesmerized. You know what sucks? I only have two strength or two strength. Oh yeah, they know. So <laughs> and I can't spend clues, so I get all three. Suffer three face down damage. Holy moly! Okay. One, two, three. And then mesmerize, right? Mesmerize has the backs on them, so it is a random choice. And then it says at the end of your turn, an alien will take control. Flip this card. Okay. <laughs> so does it do whatever the alien tells me to? Okay. All right. Okay. A rustling comes from the hall. It sounds like someone else is going through Carvey's things. Discard the search token. Which one? What? The hall. Oh, oh, we lost something we one. could have searched. It's gone. Too late. Oh no. So we gotta hurry and search the things we weren't able to search before. Yeah. Because yeah. now they're searching. So, there and there. Yep. That's it. Yep. So Mel can take care of the basement. I yeah. Can, uh, I can do this thing because I'm right here. So. Well, no, not this no, one. Go, this one was always searchable. I'm talking about we the need ones to get that the were sword. we're not allowed to search, like yeah, the sword, yeah. the amulet you already did. Go on to. They're so far. The book. This book. I will do this book. Okay, I'll try and get the One, here. two, and I'll explore that. You get the sword. Well, I can't on this turn. This well, I'll try your best. <laughs> <laughs> An ancient tome is housed in a locked glass case. Search. Two shadowy figures approach the case. Clearly, some of the other guests have the same idea as you. In the dark, you are unable to make out either of the figure's features. And when you step closer, both shadows flee. You think you could pick the lock on the case with a little effort. Trap to attempt the puzzle using observation. So I have... Four. Oh, okay, you, you can do it. Isn't this the same one as like the They're always the same, but they just uh, have different pieces in different spots. One. You don't even need four. Oh, I did screw up. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I wasn't looking. Two. Yep, I missed. Yeah, that. you need one more. Uh. No. Oh man, this is. Yeah, you need a couple more. What the heck? Yeah, because I need to move this forward, then and put then, this back yeah, up. Yeah. I totally, totally botched that. <laughs> I lo it looked easier than it was, and then I, yeah. Yeah, you bring wow. part of that. That's okay. Yeah, but you guys just were yeah, like, yeah, go like, ahead. But now we need like six moves to move it. Yeah. That's I okay. know. I know. <laughs> I totally messed up. Okay, okay let me way. go. Uh, which one is the fuse box? I don't know. Uh, the uh, uh, it's this one, I think. The first one, right? Yeah, this one. Uh, I bet it's this one. No. Ghastly figure. Yeah. It's this one right here. Yeah, on it's that wall. one. Fuse box. Okay, I will attempt to turn the lights on so we can. Oh, is that bad, do you think? Oh, it's good because then I could have used this oh, for yeah, puzzle yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try to turn the lights on. All right. You guys don't think there's going to be some monsters as soon as we turn the lights on? Someone has modeled with these wires. You must reconnect them properly to restore power to the house. Tap to attempt the puzzle using observation. Um, my observation is four. Oh, my goodness. 
I just need a second here. So the blue's got to connect. So we have a blues. start, we have an end, we have an end, we have an end. Awesome. Looks like colors match up. You probably have to get. I don't know. <laughs> you just have to connect one start and one end because you can just do that with flipping two pieces. Like you if you. Colors match properly. Yeah, move the top middle down one, right? The top middle. It, I down don't actually do it, but I'm just saying because doesn't it red oh, coming I from see. start yeah, yeah, yeah. blue and going to end? But do you have to connect the other ones too? I don't know. Like do you have to connect both starts and ends? I'm not no sure. Way, no way of knowing. Well, there's three ends. You so probably have to just link everything kind of like correctly. So like this whole thing all lines up properly to each other. Like you can't have just loose pieces around, right? Yeah, it's got to look uh, like a proper connected puzzle. Yeah, like one start and three ends. So then let's go. So if you look like blue pointing up on these can only connect to this and this. Yeah, like start goes up and end goes up. And this red pointing to the east on this start only connects into this or this. Also, yeah, I would. St this, start, yeah. start goes up, end goes up, and then your center. Yeah, I would move the bridge. middle, the a middle left start up one. The middle left start up. Yeah, one yeah. Over, that one up. That one. Yeah. I feel like this one is wrong. I feel like this, this one is wrong needs to go in, like the in the center. Well, no, I think it needs to go. Move the middle center, one so to the right one. And move Just get it lined up for the next guy. This, this is like shoot. This, yeah, this is big. big. I think the bottom left has the, to go yeah, in the middle. The bottom left has to Just go somewhere. So like... yeah, let's move it to the right. And then I have oops, sorry. And then I have and then move it up. I have four actions. So that's just but just that one, that one's wrong. One. Yeah. So Shoot. this should be all the way up here probably then yeah. because but then no it can't because if this is supposed to be here which I don't think it is. Yeah, cuz these two don't go together. And no. that bottom left no. is also wrong. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, we can't yeah. use also oh. There's no rotate, eh? No. <laughs> okay, okay. You want, you, you, uh, you're still in that space, you can try it again, right? E oh, yeah, I can. Four new ones? Yeah, I can try it again. Okay. So. Don't you have to roll? There's no roll? No, these are just. Yeah, no, I no, have no. four. You're just using your points on oh, her observation. So it, it and if it wasn't four. dark, she'd be able to use these for extra moves, your, your tokens. Yep. Okay, tell us what you think. Well, wow, the puzzles are kind of cool. <laughs> the... I feel like... So if you analyze one piece and start breaking down into smaller puzzles, you have red left, down, and blue to the right. So it's like, this can only go with certain things on the map. So it has to go in the middle because it connects on both sides. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like that piece is right, but I feel like... No, I don't This think one right. obviously wouldn't go in the top corner because it goes up and to the left. It's really those... That, that, so top, this one, that top middle this, piece. The top middle one and the, the middle one, Those you have to figure out what those go because they do everything else. Um... So I wonder this one's if... wrong then, and these ones are all right. Well, well, what if look, I move... Th there's no other piece that has a red that goes down. So those two have to join, right? There's no. Those are the only ones that has a red going down and a red going up, right? Out of all the pieces, those two yep, yep, have yep. to go yeah, together. Yeah, but I feel like the end on the bottom middle needs to go in the top right. Uh, but then what about this piece? What's ending this red here if this piece is not here? This one? This yes, one could yes. come down. Yeah, so if that one... But then this pops up and we don't want that up. We need something No, else. the whole, that whole, those two, this, this right. bottom right is in the wrong spot. It doesn't even go on that line. Those two will move straight down and this end on the bottom in the middle will yeah. go in the top yeah, left. Yeah, it has to go up there. So, so I, I think you go, yeah, one, building. up, up. And that should be my four. Oh, I have one more still. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we have... And this one can go that's, to the right. That's super close. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, no. Hold on. Because then you you got to use that end. Maybe that's it. I think that end has to 
like, oh, yeah. An no, end and an end? Because then you get an end that's just sitting Yeah, but they're still connected. <laughs> I'm trying. Want to try? Yeah, but I don't think it's... No. <laughs> oh, shoot. So where do these ends go? Oh, we'll just shift the bottom two oh, over. out of moves. Just, yeah, wait, I'm no, out of no, moves. But wait, just the bottom two shift over there. Oh, so it comes down and end up. over here. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, but okay. I don't have any more. Yeah, yeah, so we're okay. also future. Okay, and so Ooh. now at the end of my turn, uh, at the end of your turn, an alien will take control, flip this card. <laughs> that's so messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Why an alien? Like just... Friendly advice. Your friends do not realize what power truly means. You must tell them the glory of what awaits them. Move two spaces towards another random investigator, then discard this card. You... How do I choose a random? You have a D6 over there? Yeah. So, well, odd. Uh, well, I think actually it's either way I have to You go through move. the hatch or you go this way. Oh. That's it. Odd, even. Odd, well, even. Odd. odd. So, so you, you to, are this way. Yeah. So, one, two. Sure. Then discard, discard. So stupid. <laughs> oh my god. That was okay. the first move with this round, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I. Oh no, no, no Rob I went first. Tried. I puzzle tried. Okay, I didn't do anything. No. Yeah. I was just going to go one, two, one, two. Okay. Done. Mythos space. Confirm. A specter from Carolyn Fern's past rises from the ground to drag her li on her limbs. Carolyn Fern suffers two horror. But lore negates. Uh, I can't spend anything, right? So, so two? Two horror. First one is... No additional effect. Flip it face down. Next one, gain one clue. Flip this card face down. If you suffer one or more, you have to discard an improvement. Uh, okay. Sorry, did you uh, need one? I need a clue. Oh, a clue. I'm sorry. Yeah, gain one clue. Flip it face down. Mm hmm, I need to get rid of some horror. Okay. So, checking your sword. Do you want me sure. to turn? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, sure. get the sword. Sword. A large sword has been mounted on the wall above the couch. Search. In the dark, you hear another set of footsteps. You can just make out another person heading for the sword. When you attempt to get closer, the one person notices you and fades back into the shadows. You must balance carefully on the overstuffed couch cushions in order to pull the sword from the plate. its place. Agility. For four, nice. Oh, One. Jesus, my One. rolling this game. Doubles off your balance, cushions things under your feet. Nope. You should turn the lights on first. Yeah, yeah, but it's like... Okay, let me try it again. That's fine, yeah. Well, can you even get there and, and do it? Oh, oh, right, I'm not there. Yeah, I'd have to, I could only get one chance. Or I'd that's not all you needed. Yeah, Wait, I still have another turn. Yeah. No, no, but we should have done the try the light thing first because uh, then you could do rerolls. Whatever, I'll just do it again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we should. We just didn't think that through. All right. Two. Two. So hopefully three was enough. You heft the sword for off its mounting, feeling the solid weight in your hand. Gain the enchanted blade, common item. Then discard the search token. Ready for a fight. Here's your enchanted blade, sir. Tell us what it is. Uh, it's what? a melee, melee weapon? With it's a melee damage? weapon, yeah. That's what does it say? Is it heavy or... Oh, it's bladed? Just bladed. What's the flavor text? Uh, I would draw no swords, but what are sanctified? Okay, sure. What? Okay. Sure. What are we saying, man? <clears throat> Uh, all, right, all right, so, so I'll go back done. to the fuse box. Okay, I'm One, there. two, movement, and then fuse box. Hopefully we can do this. Observation. Four I frames. need to look at what you were saying. So what were you saying so to move? He, he's saying this end needs to be here. And just move the other two over. And, and these slide over so that oh, this one I connects yeah, yeah, yeah. here and then this okay. so one. So yeah, he would just... Yeah, just move the end. One, one. two, yeah. Boom! Woo! We did it. Nice. Man, these puzzles are glitched out in the, in the old mission we played are some mess-ups. Uh, you flip the master lever and the lights in the house flicker back on. Discard all darkness tokens from the board. Someone must have shut off the power to the house. Gain the circumstantial evidence, unique item, 
and one clue. Yes. Then discard the search token. We can use clues again. So much darkness. So discard the search token, and there's your circumstantial evidence. Just a bit more, and the case is closed. And you got a clue. And I got a clue, yeah. Cool. The butler mops his brow with a damp handkerchief. Plays a person token as indicated. He mm. is in here? Uh, yeah. The cook wrings her hands near a half finished uh, dessert. Plays a person token as indicated. Oh, they're all coming. Bruce in. paces in the dining room. Plays Bruce Darcy as indicated. Elizabeth oh. hovers near the uneaten food. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh. Leland puffs a cigar. A slight tremor in his hand. Place Leland Williams as indicated. Okay. May cries quietly in the library. Place May Nguyen as indicated. Where's the library? Right here. Right where I'm seeing it. With the lights restored, you can question the other guests on the murder of Thomas Carvey. Hmm. Interesting. There's still lots of stuff to search. So. Let's question the guests. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to obviously question him. Uh, so I'm just left, and right? You're going to question Yeah. Because I was trying oh, to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, 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 we both went. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't care about this book anymore. I don't think you can. Oh, you can. I don't know. Do you want to question her before time runs yeah, out? Yeah, like, we don't really know what we're doing here still. Well, I mean, Maybe we've quietly pressing it. Right? What? I think dinner was canceled, right? It was well, someone just got killed, man. Yeah, exactly. So... <laughs> May weeps quietly, pressing a damp handkerchief to her eyes. Where were you when the lights went out? Or who has motive to kill Thomas Carvey? Accused of murder. Remember she likes Ooh. to be sweet talked. Oh. So once we, once we feel we know who we're accusing, we accuse them. But in the meantime, let's do... Who has motive? Honestly, I would not trust Leland as far as I could throw him. He likes to act all high and mighty, but I have seen what usually happens to his competitors. When Tom stopped just collecting things for him and went into selling them himself. That was a declaration, declaration of war in Leland's eyes. I'm sure of it. But she doesn't like Leland already. Right. Mm -hmm. Sure, Bruce is nervous. I would be too, if I had a father like his. A nervous kid like that is probably just trying to find a way to take his father's attention off of him. I'm not saying Bruce would have wanted to kill Tom, but if his father wanted Tom dead, well, maybe Bruce did not have a choice. Yeah, I'll just question her again, I guess. May weeps quietly, pressing a damp handkerchief. Where were you when the lights went out? Now, who asked the lady about her business in the dark? The joke comes out flat, full of nervous energy, and punctuated by May's obvious distress. I suppose it would all come out sometime. That sword in the lounge. I have just been waiting for the opportunity to take it. Last I checked, that makes me a thief, not a murderer. Carvey was good to me, most of the time. All right, I'm done my turn. We're all done. Is she, it, yeah. is she done? Just, just curious. Well, just accuse of... Yeah, so yeah. I, I found... Yeah, yeah. So we need to talk to all four of them again, get their two levels of evidence, and then make our decision. But there might be stuff still hidden, like day planner and things that maybe give us a clue that, like, you know, we'll put something together that we're not thinking of, or what's up here, actually. A locked case. Oh. Something could be there. Papers and books on Harvey's desk. So more information. Like there's little things like that to piece stuff together too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're ending the phase. A spell leaps unbidden to your, into your mind. This mythos event affects the investigator with the lowest will. I have five. Four. Three. All right, affecting you, Kyle. You attempt to decipher the spell, so you're rolling lore, looking for a pass of one. Three. So you roll three dice. Okay. If you pass, you realize casting it would be a terrible idea. If you fail, the words mumble somehow, twist in the air, and turn into writhing. You can use a clue now, because it's not dark anymore. Sure. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, you sure yeah, you yeah, want to spend one of those ten clues you have? So you get two. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Shadow figures suffering. Okay, so you, Suffer you passed, two. you're good, right? One at a time. No, what? No, 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 no. Oh, you only needed one. Duh, sorry. Yeah, we're good. Sorry, usually it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, why would you make one. him send a clue if it was two? <laughs> you would still fail. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get I, down my clues, I so I get rid of a horror. I thought he would still get two. Like, I thought he was negating all three. I wasn't even no, paying attention. No, it wasn't negate. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Strange shadows move and coalesce in the rooms of the mansion, forming the same shadow of a familiar man in each of the rooms. With a, with a start, you realize the shadow bears a strong resemblance to Thomas Carvey. Each investigator suffers two face-down horror, but will negates. Wow, Whoa. all blanks. Two face-down horror for you. Yep. 
Oops, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, does it say each other? No, each investigator. Go ahead. Um. Good. Can I spend one? Why? Because no. I just want to get down my thing so I can get rid of a whore. Especially no, no, this no. one. No, 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 no that's no, separate. Don't, don't do that. What? Uh, Why not? I got this thing where I can't be in the same spot as you, but... But I, I can help you too. Yeah, but you, you can another use You're within uh, range. Flip one whore face down, discard one face down whore. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. You yeah. or another investigator in range. Okay, and... But I just need to get in range view. Minus four. Uh, and I got all four, so I'm good. But we don't need to be together in this mission. It actually doesn't matter because we're, we're good mm -hmm. being all separate. Mm -hmm. Just tell us, like, make sure who goes first so we're not near you or whatever, right? So we'll leave that up to you to tell us, like, who goes first to get away from you or near you. We need to all discuss that first thing before moving. Okay. So I'll do some guy, of this stuff up here. You have this guy here. to interrogate here. Yep, that's where I'm going. So you won't be within range of anyone, right? Yeah, so why don't you go next yeah. then? Yeah, you just do that. Sure. Um, then, and... All right. Where were you when the lights went out? Or who has motive to kill Thomas Carvey? Who has motive? All right, so who has motive? Now, that is the question you should be asking. The elder, Mr. Darcy, picks up a lot of the valuables Thomas and I find. So that uh, Bruce's dad, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, I do not like to presume what he does with them, but I can tell you he took a lot of dangerous things off my hands. Thomas stopped selling to him recently, which was great for me, but, well... I do not think Mr. Darcy was too happy about it. I also do not think this would be the first time Bruce has done his father's dirty work. Do not underestimate May. I have it on good authority that she was not always the pretty young socialite she is now. I think Thomas helped her cover up her past. Now, you ask me, any girl with half a brain knows that is a loose end that needs tying. Hmm. hmm. They all talk very not nicely about Tom uh, about Bruce. Seems that way. Yeah. Well, m more Bruce's dad. Right? Okay. But they do mention that he's nervous. Like, mm -hmm. I, already, mm -hmm. I already asked her everything. Uh, I think. Okay, yes. so myself. Um, so I'll go try to get uh, these two, I guess. Yeah, I can, or, I can try or, to get some of this stuff up this? here. Well, I can go buy that, yeah, and do that on the way. You can do it right now. Okay, so this is Tom. But she can check the dead body. Yeah, I was thinking Maybe that, there's right? there's some evidence there. Yeah. That's him, right? right and or there's also a ghastly figure with misshapen arms slumped in the corner. I don't think what? I want to even that a oh, isn't it? That was the person who was going through the tunnel with you or whatever. Oh, that you is heard. that yeah. the elder, like, Bruce's dad? Who knows? Oh. I don't know, you're there. Oh my god. Um, yeah, why is this guy saying talk to the elder, but you can't? That's weird. Uh, okay. He's been here the whole time. Um... No, I'm going to move. I'm going to... Uh, we can look at this, right? Thomas Carvey lies on the floor dead. His sightless eyes stare toward the ceiling. He appears burnt and... or shriveled. Though you do not smell the stench of burning flesh. Underneath his body, a ritual circle has been drawn and lined with candle stubs. Okay, yeah, I'll search him. You investigate the body of Thomas Carvey and find a dagger buried in his chest. You ease it from the body and watch strange symbols fade from its blade. Gain the ritual dagger, common item. Okay. Ritual dagger. Which is a bladed weapon, one base damage, melee, roll one additional die while casting a spell. So many weapons. But I know, right? No chances to use it yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> and is that. Oh. Unsure what ritual Carvey's death may have served, you quickly collect the strange objects that have been placed around his body, gain the ritual component's unique item, and two clues. Sweet. And then discard the search token. One, two. Okay. So then... So more evidence. More there you evidence. go. So then I will just use my next action to move back, and then I'll search this next time, I guess. Okay. Or, sorry, I moved, interrupted, and then move back. One, two. Yeah, I'm going to check the date planner. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, or... <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you're kind of... like You're asking one more mm. thing, and then... One. Yeah. yeah, but it's still so, your yeah, far it's away too. Be a but like, what are you doing on this side of the house if that's if that's gone? I am going up here, um, searching maybe. Going yet. here to try to that puzzle. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Anything. Okay, I'm searching the day planner. 
The journal is written in some sort of shorthand. Uh, lore. Roll on three. Mm -hmm. What's your lore? Three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing no extra lore rolls. Uh, I'll spend one to make it two. Bing, bang. Confirm. The first half of the planner is filled with appointments that all seem relatively normal. You even recognize some of the names as guests of the dinner party. In recent weeks, Carvey has much fewer scheduled meetings. You also notice that he has canceled every appointment in the past few weeks with both May and Leland, Leland Williams, two of the suspects here tonight. The strangest thing by far is the line scribbled on the bottom of the page in a hand that does not look like Carvey's. One you trust plots against you. Gain two clues, then discard the search token. Hmm. All right, well, it's, okay, so it's, it can't be May or Leland because he doesn't trust them. So that's why he's canceled the meetings, I'm guessing. So who does he trust? He doesn't trust them and then says one you trust plots against you, so it's the other two. Ah. I'm guessing, I'm guessing. I think it's Bruce. He's been shady all night. Uh, but that's the obvious choice. Yeah, maybe. I think it's the cook. Uh, so what do I do? It's the cook? One, two, like less, I'm Elizabeth? Bad. Wait, can you accuse the butler or the cook of, mur of murder? Just to... No. Not yet. What about Where the, were you? What about the butler? See that? But they might just have an additional information. Maybe they saw somebody or... Uh, Is there any other way into the basement, which we already know, and who would murder Carvey? Hmm. Yeah, you can't. Could be helpful, but... Hmm. We're going to investigate the guests. Um, so that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Please don't be me again. <laughs> <laughs> Light fades from around you, leaving anything even inches from your face obscured. Place darkness in each space in the basement storage. No. This mythos events and affects each investigator in a space containing darkness. That's me. Gotcha. Stumbling to where you know there was a light, your eye, your hand can feel the heat coming from it, though your eyes cannot detect the slightest illumination. So for three face down horror, but your will plus one extra die. Negates. So my will is four, plus one is five. And I'm suffering three. Uh, two, so I only suffer one, and it's face down. Face down, yeah. Things move around Thomas Kirby's home of their own volition. Furniture sliding several inches out of place as though someone were shoving them in a great fit of rage. Each investigator suffers two horror, but lore negates. Uh, I will negate it. Okay. It's been one. Negate it. Okay. All right. And then uh, if I can have two more, please. It's lore, right? Yeah. Uh, all, all, all right, of it. Beautiful. Nice. All right, we're back. Okay. So, uh, uh, this needs one more question, I think. Mm -hmm. That needs to be... What needs to what? Well, she just needs to do that. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't. Um, oh, you know what that is? That's probably the gardener. When you mm. let go. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I thought this was oh. a gardener. I thought this scuffle yeah. was a gardener. Yeah. yeah, and then he probably snuck oh, out here. Oh, and he stuffed and the body <gasps> down there. Let me go first. <laughs> Let me go first. Sure. That is nothing, though. But. Yeah, yeah, it's just, oh, it's a gardener. All right. A ghastly figure with a misshapen arm is slumped in the corner behind. It is a shelf. Uh, a shelf has been left crooked, leaving a glimpse of a passage behind. But we know the passage thing. Anyways. The figure is dressed in coveralls and a broad-rimmed straw hat. The monstrous hand grips a muddy trowel. There is no mark on its body that suggests what caused its death. Wherever the blood on the floor came from, it was not this creature. Gain one clue, then discard the search token. Oh, okay. Huh, okay. that doesn't even solve this mystery? It's a distraction. No, yeah. so then I will use my next action to move, and I think I'll just move one to chat with the butler, but I don't have any more actions right now. So there's also a locked case there, or yeah, I'll just a... Uh, papers covering Harvey's death. I'll just papers try to book. collect this stuff on this these things and you guys can... Uh, Alright. So I want to continue this way. Okay. One, two, and let's just go three, four. Okay. Alright, I'm done. I'm trying to get to that pantry, eh? Where are you going to no, go? No, I'm just going to talk to Elizabeth. No, no. I'm just... so if you want to come down this way too no, after no, you talk no. to him. I'm going to talk to Leland. Okay. My last question. Uh, where were you in the lights when it went out? Yep. Now, you just hold on. I will ha have you know that your implications will be reported to my lawyers. But for the time being, no, I did not kill Thomas Carvey. That is what you wanted to know, right? Leland puffs on a cigar, then his shoulders slump. I did not kill Thomas. 
When the lights went out, I went to take a closer look at that book. I just wanted to know how he found something so valuable, like a bolt from the blue. What book? Oh, the book. The one that he's trying to, to get the puzzle yeah, to open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that was one, two. All right, okay. Mythos. I think it's Bruce. That's my guess. So who, yeah. who, who is it not? It's not... May or Leland? Well, well that's, that's what we assume based, off yeah, based on so that. It's either Elizabeth or Bruce who I'm down there with. Yeah. And maybe we need to question them to see who's who's up what. You had not noticed before, but there is something strange about the walls in this room. The mythos event affects each investigator in the dining room. Uh, no effect. Perfect. No effect. The lights in the house flicker, and a strange droning fills the air. The atmosphere of the mansion becomes oppressive, and the impending sense of dread settles over you. The whisper of Carvey's voice recites the names of the people in the house, though you cannot figure out from where the voice originates. Each investigator suffers four face-down horror. Oh, it's getting worse. We yeah, need to hurry. Yeah, because we're taking way too long. Yeah, I got to waste action to scare up horror. Wow. Whoa. So it's been one. So you and take two? Three. Three. So I will go into insanity business. Uh -oh. That sucks. Even though I have actions to get rid of it, I should have used those. I forgot. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is eight. Uh, okay, so you don't have to click anything. You just I go down here, right? No, you just get rid of. Don't I do? No, you just get rid of all your face downs and you draw an insanity card. Oh yeah. So let's... Oh gosh, and no, he's the one down Okay, there. so first one. Yep, it's legit. I can take it. And then so all these of are all discarded. gone. So these are all supposed to get shuffled back into that deck. Yeah, I'll do that Whatever. in a minute. Uh, okay. Let me read uh, my thing. Yeah, you go ahead. Uh, We're just going to do our resolve our. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you want to yep. spend two so you only get one? Yep. There you go. And then myself, four. One, two, Space three, time. four. Yeah. Huh? Nothing. Uh, one, two. So I'll take two. Okay, we need to hurry. Okay. So we we shuffled these back in, you said, right? Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, yeah. There's no discard pile, right? They, but whatever. We usually just threw them on the bottom of the deck, but yeah. they're supposed to go in because there's a chance you can get some of the same ones again. I can start putting them in. It's fine. Yeah. But anyways. All right. Um, what are we doing here? Um, I was going to question Elizabeth. Yeah, that's I fine. I think we need help with Bruce. You're gonna to talk to the butler. Yep. You were gonna try the puzzle. Uh, yeah. Do you well, want to just try we, the puzzle? we didn't even talk. She's already done. Yeah, I, I he already, already asked did. Her everything. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. If you want to go try the puzzle, maybe one and yeah, puzzle time. Oh, what's your observation? Three only. Yeah. But you're allowed to use the. Um, yeah, you can clues use the clues to, now to give you extra. Uh, okay. So ten. But I think it was almost done. No. Oh no! This is when we oh, screwed up. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. So this needs to go back up. Yeah, you have this to do half across. and half. This needs to come down. This goes over, bumps into this, then this moves down, and that goes across. Mm. <laughs> which I totally see after I started moving it, and it was too late. Which I screwed up and wasted a whole two turns on it. Yeah, there. so you'll be able to do, yeah, do that. Go up. So, sorry, what, this one? Yeah, up. This one, put it back, two, three. Done. You can use these if you wanted to get rid of these, didn't you? Each uh, one, you can do an extra movement. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So, so what? So spend one, do Just a do movement. All, do all three. Well, okay. We'll one, do one at a time. One. one. Now it goes up. Two. Two. Three. Yeah, over. Great, that's all I got. Yep. But do you have another action? Were you there already or no? No, I moved in. Oh, you moved I, in. I, I moved oh, in, you moved in. Yep. Are you going to stay there? Are you going to move somewhere else? I'm going to stay there. Okay. Uh, so I'll just talk to her? Yep. Elizabeth rings her hands. Were you in the lights or not? Or who has motive to kill Thomas Garvey? All right, all right. I know this will sound bad, but well, when the lights went out, I tried to retrieve something I gave my husband. Uh, it was nothing but a trinket, but the fool had, it, had loaned it to Carvey, and Carvey refused to give it back. Then I just blundered my way over to here. All right. Who has motive? Have you considered talking to May? Tom has been covering some secret of hers up for years, probably blackmailing her over it too. Tom is resourceful. I always respected that. 
Uh, I don't believe you. You're just trying to deflect. <laughs> and okay. that's me. I'll talk to the butler. See if he gives us information. All right. The butler uh, has given up on straightening the foyer and hovers uncertainly near the door. Is there any other way to the basement, which we already know about? Yeah. And who, who would murder Carby? Yep. He mops his brow with a handkerchief, his eyes bloodshot. Mr. Carby never confided in me. He did not tell me until you were coming up the drive what he suspected of the rest of the guests. Had I known, well, I am sure I would have found another situation. Please figure this out, and quickly. Being in this house is making me ill with worry. So he is a waste of time. Okay, so that was one. Uh, this is something locked. I'm so sorry. Forget all these. A locked case has been placed on the shelf. Yeah, let's search the locked case while I'm there. You think you could pick the lock? Tap to attempt the puzzle using observation. Can you okay with that? My observation's four, sure. Well, I guess you have to. Oh. Oh, okay. Does that big one only go up and down? Like the one that's like this? Uh, yeah, all ones only go up and down that are facing up and down, and the ones left and right, uh, yeah. like horizontal, only go horizontal, vertical, go vertical. One, two, three. What's your observation? Four. Oh, when you got clues out the yin yang. Uh, uh, and then more. I will do. I just need two more. Spend one and spend two. Be something good. There you go. Puzzle completed. Uh, the case opens with a click. Gain the 20, 0.25, 25 caliber point, uh, automatic. Common item. Firearm, two damage range. You may convert in investigations to success as well, attacking with this card. Sweet. Yeah, so many weapons. Better be big baddies. I, fe I feel like we got to be almost done here, though. Yeah, it's basically accused of murder and... Yeah, and I feel like we just need to accuse Bruce and be on our way. <laughs> well, I might be wrong. <laughs> I know, I know. We could... Are we done? Yeah, All yes. Right. This is going to be bad, yeah. I'm sure. Yep. Oh, yeah, I should have done. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Skittering and creeping, 100,000 spiders emerge from their hiding places. Jenny Barnes scrambles to avoid the worst of her bites. You're testing agility, looking for a two-pass. Um, your agility is four. four yeah. Looking for a two. No clues to spend. Oh, so one. So a fail. Uh, where is it? One fist down on her. If she fails, she receives many bites and the venom makes the world wrap around her. Warp around her. Jenny Barnes suffers one face down damage and two horror and becomes stunned. So one face down damage. And then two and horror. One horror at a time, reading them up. face up. No additional effect, flip this card face down. And no additional effect, flip this card face down. And are you good? One, two, three, four, five, you one away. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get rid of one in a second, so. Stunned. You cannot perform more than a single action during your turn. At the uh, end of your turn, discard this card. Yep, so that's all you get to do on your turn. Because that's what you do. Unless you go insane here, if it's not over, oh it is, okay. Alright, that's good um, phase, what's happening? Oh, does this need to... Oh, no, it's still there. It's still there. Oh, yeah, because that was... The one you solved was here. But is that gone? Oh. Yeah, you didn't remove it. Sorry. Um, do you do you guys think you know who it is? No. No. But it's one of these two, I think. Well, yeah. Do you want to go talk to Bruce? Sure. Right well, now, you, you want to I don't think first? he's going to tell us it was me, but, I mean... You want me to go first? Or Kyle want to solve his puzzle? Or? Yeah, but do I solve the puzzle or do I get rid of... Um... Oh yeah, you need to do that, so... Yeah, you yeah. need to do that. Alright, so I'll just go talk to Bruce. Move on, talk to Bruce. Bruce paces alter alternately straightening, loosening his tie. Where were you when the lights went out? Sure. When the lights went out, you think I... No. No, I could never have. My father would... No. Bruce takes a deep breath. When the lights went out, I... I went to steal Thomas's sword. That metal is not from this earth. I know it. It would interest my father greatly to have it. You have to believe me. That's shifty. 
So this guy wanted to steal the book, this guy wanted to steal the sword, the other two women just said they weren't doing anything basically, right? Oh, well, one of them was going for the sword. I one was too. going for the amulet. Oh, the, she, uh, oh, amulet, the, yeah. yeah, Elizabeth was going for the amulet. Elisa's late husband. Elisa's late husband? He used to be part of the social group until Thomas decided they needed to learn where other, where another cache of unfound antiques were. Whatever he was doing to find out that information, Elisa's husband, I'm assuming that's Elizabeth. Yeah. Husband <laughs> paid the price, I'm <laughs> sure of it. Yeah. How did they change the name? So it could be Elizabeth. Getting revenge? Oh, I don't know, but I'm... I moved Kay. one and did Do that. You, I'm um, gonna move... Oh, yeah, yeah, you still have another. No. Uh, oh, you, you interacted with him twice, though. You asked him two questions. <gasps> oh, oh, I cheated. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. Whoops. Yes. Oopsies. I cheated. I totally cheated. Uh, I totally cheated. So I'll just lose an action next round then? Sure. Okay. Do you want to go and do your thing? You're only doing sure, action, right? Sure, I'll just right? do this. No so clues. Gain. Read it. Uh, action, if you have no clues, gain two clues and discard one horror. Okay. I'll just get rid of the horror that I know. Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Uh, Base of drawers worse. Okay, then I will go. I will move one. And then this is gone now. And I will interact with this, the papers, oh, I think it is. Papers and books, cover Harvey's desk, search. Yeah. Among the clutter, you find something that looks like Harvey's personal journal. Gain the old journal unique item. Oh, I wish I had more action. Evidence. Thanks. Uh, then discard the search token. An investigator holding the old journal unique item can read it within the app. Okay. We never read the last thing she got. What was the last thing I got? Uh, oh, the cultist journal? Yeah. I don't know. We didn't read that. Oops. Well, this journal describes the crime in brutal detail. Oh, maybe well, I should read that. That's all I got. We're all done? Yeah. Okay, so remember I get one less action next turn. Mm -hmm. If we have an extra. You realize that your life's leaking away into the objects around you. This mythless event affects each investigator in a storage room. I am in... Uh, kitchen storage. I'm in the dining room. I'm in the office. And you're in the library. No We're good. Find my murderer. Carvey's voice is as clear in each of your ears as if he were standing next to you. A ghostly hand presses into each of your backs. Or will I do the job myself? When you turn to look for Carvey, there is no one there. Suffer four horror, but influence negates. Sweet. And I have five because I roll an extra day. So can I get one more? And I'll just... Oops. <laughs> uh, four. I got three negated. So I need one horror. Resolve immediately. Suffer one additional face down horror. Then flip this card face down. Wow. One, two, three. How many do I need? Four. Four. Yeah, I'll spend that. Okay, and it was influence. My influence is four. Uh, one. I'll spend one. So I will take two. Two horror. Two who are in their face up, right? Yep. Okay, so resolve immediately. Uh, no additional effect. Fifth this card face down. And uh, no additional effect. Flip this card face down. One, two, three, four, five, six. One away. I'm going insane. Investigator phase. All right, what are we doing? Uh, do you want me to read the journal? Well, you have uh, two things to read, right? Uh, the cultist journal, and then you have the other... Journal. Carvey's journal filled with writings, perhaps something that will help your investigation, or you found this journal in a secret passage on the conservatory. Read. I think they're both pretty juicy. Yeah. That's an action to read? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I need to do this action first. So discard up to two face down horror, then flip this card. So. Oh, the whiskey? Yeah. Because I'm going to die if I take one more. One, two, thank you. Okay, and then I will read Harvey's journal. One passage. Carvey's journal is filled with writings. Read. Oh, it's Carvey, not Harvey. Carvey has clearly been dabbling in things not meant for him. You find he has recorded the practice of rituals and noticed several spells, one of which you believe would be useful in your work. Gain the Rack spell. What the heck is the Rack spell? 
Okay, the rack spell is ranged. Five base damage. The words of the incantation cause intense racking pain to tear at your enemy's body. Like I, I really hope we're going to have a battle of some sort. No, it'd be cool if we didn't. Like, why yeah, have no, all yeah. these weapons for no reason? <laughs> you got to kill the murderer. You don't arrest them. You just stab them to death or true, shoot them. True, true. Okay. okay. That was it because yeah, I did like, other what actions. What happens if you accuse the wrong person of murder? That's well, the real question. It it's done. I don't know. Or do they get mad and there's like a battle? Uh -huh. If you choose the right one, then it's all over. I don't know, but I'm done. Okay. So I only have one action. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what to do. Let me see if I can even investigate with this guy. Oh, I can accuse him, but that's it. And her, I think we're done too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we need to find something that, like, points out whoever. Just do the table thing. You're right there. Yeah, okay. So I'll do the table thing on my turn. Search for agility. It's probably just some item that's useless. That's already has one, right? Two. So it stacks from... Uh, I got one. Yeah, if it yeah, does stack. Yeah. yeah. So. With the item at your feet, you feign having dropped it yourself. Gain the pocket watch common item. Discard the search token. Woo. Okay. Is, something okay. Could have helped us Is it something I, in I the dang pantry? I can do that. Like, it's only these three items. Well, well there's this, still that puzzle. I can do yeah. this item now, right? Okay. And there's still the thing you need to read. Um, yeah, I'll read it two times next time. No, no, the the other thing, the the, the one cultist you, one. Yeah, whatever the, the one, one you was, found in the path. Yeah. Okay, pocket watch. Uh, you may perform one additional puzzle step while attempting a puzzle. That would have been cool earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, you're gonna do yeah, that I'm one. Yeah, do the puzzle time. Yeah, I think I only need two actions. I think so. How many do you have? It is uh, one, two. Observation. Observation. I have three. So. Okay. One, <laughs> one two. All right, puzzle completed. Do we get some juicy info? The glass case opens to the small plate. Gain the Tome of Secrets common item. Then discard the search token. So You may become mesmerized to convert all investigation results to successes while resolving a test. And mesmerized was that whole alien thing yeah. she had happen. <laughs> but if you, need to, if you need to pass desperately, I think that was all of us. And what else over here? Oh, that book that looked familiar to you. One of these books look familiar. That's all of us though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the only thing you did just first was try the puzzle? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, you saw you. Yeah. So I can move there. Okay. Mythos phase, confirm. Boards creak and windows shutter slam. Light flickers strangely outside. This missile event affects each of us here in the lounge. Lounge, nobody. The spirit of Thomas Carvey flickers into existence, but does not fade. Spawn a ghost is indicated. This is Thomas Carvey. Oh, finally. What, do we just have to kill the ghost? Oh, oh he's a good ghost. Oh, he's mad. If we don't find out who did it, he's going to go kill who did it. You were supposed to save me, he howls. If I cannot live, none of you shall. At this announcement, the rest of the people in the house scramble to hide and protect themselves. Discard all person tokens from the oh, board. Oh, my oh, God. So we can't accuse so we anyone. Can't even, oh. Yeah. The only way out of this will be to defeat the enraged ghost. Perhaps then you'll be able to escape with your life. Beautiful. Oh, so there's no point in even doing Thomas Kirby moves one space. 32. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. 32 health on this guy. Oh, my God. Right. Thomas Kirby moves one space towards the nearest investigator. Then he attacks investigators in his space who have suffered the most horror. Uh, one, two, three. There's no... One, two, three. There's no, no one does, space. He, two. There is no one. It, so well, this the is the closest. Oh, yeah. okay. So no investigators in that space. Thomas Carvey calls out. There's no one near him. Uh, to hear him, sorry. His spirit vanishes, then reappears elsewhere. Carvey moves to the nearest space that is within range of an investigator. Well, yeah. Okay. Or we could have made it here. Do we care? Who's got better weapons and wants to start fighting him? Because that is the nearest space within range, too. Like, they're both within range, so we can choose. You guys can work that out. Mm, I got the firearm. Do firearm? Oh, so. I have to do a horror check so, against Well, we him. need to decide first who. Well, do you have a firearm? Uh, who's yes. Who's also closer to having too much horror? Uh, one, one, two, two three, four. Because you're, you're going to do a horror check against him, I'm, too. I'm right? two away. Three away, so I guess it's fine. Okay, so here. And I have lots of clues, right, I guess. So you're going to do a horror check. Okay. Against the boss man. This is bad. Confirm. Thomas Carby's face twists. In a royal of emotions flashing from joy to rage to pain to despair, eventually these screaming, laughing, and crying faces begin to erupt 
from other parts of his spectral form. Suffer to horror, but your will negates. Okay, my will is four. Uh, I'll spend a clue to make that one. So a uh, two. Did you get it? Yep. All right. Good. Okay. And the mythos phase confirm. Investigator phase. You guys are all coming to help me, sure. right? Sure. What else we got to do? Everything else left except for these search tokens. I might as well search them in the spot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to go first. Let's fight him a little bit. All right. So I'm going to fight him using a spell. Okay. So shuffle and random one, whatever, and then... With each word of incantation, the spirit seems to flicker into ever-increasing solidity. Okay. All right. So you're Lore's looking for lore for. with the two. I got, got it. Got it. So if you pass, the specter becomes whole for just an instant and then shatters like a broken mirror. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result. Yes. So my spell is five plus two is seven. Yes. Uh, then, <laughs> then you flip it. Uh, flip the spell and deal with that business. Okay. As your enemy suffers, it lashes out, injuring itself in anyone nearby. You and each other investigator in your space suffer one face down damage, and the monster suffers one additional damage. Then discard the spell and draw another. Yeah, so shuffle up the, the uh, spells. One so you get a face, face down. down damage. And then and just shuffle your spell deck. No, with that card. I yeah. know. I'm just oh. showing that I'm putting it inside. Oh. And oh, yeah. okay. Just not right on the top or something. Okay. Oh, That's yeah. cool. Okay. Are you attacking him again? Yeah. Same thing? Yep. Yeah. Attack with a spell. Yep. So this time it's Will looking for a pass of two. Okay. So my Will is also four. And it'll be the same thing. Damage plus test result. Uh, I will spend two. Okay. Uh, I can spend more, right? So I'll spend three. Yep. Knowing that it's damage plus. Okay. So you want to eat total now? Yeah. Up to 16. Now flip your spell. You feel, uh, sorry, excuse me. You feel the pieces of the spell fall effortlessly into place and in your mind. You are frightened by how easy it is to bring pain to another being. <laughs> Suffer two face down horror, then flip one horror face up. Okay, so let's do this one at a time. Two face down. Oh my god. And then one face up. So let's pick oh, that at random. Kyle can, Kyle can pick one randomly. Please do nothing. Resolve immediately, no additional effect. Yes. But how many do I have here? And then flip a face you're, down. You're one away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then then discard this card and gain. Oh, oh, discard this card. Did the other one say discard this card? Yeah, they always yeah. do. And then they go back. Oh, and, and gain. Oh, discard meaning just shuffle back in. Yeah. Okay. Then you just get a new one. Okay. But we just always keep the deck there and whatever. All right, so that is. Oh, so these are gonna hurt me as I keep doing this. Correct. Of course, powerful. We've learned this every time we have a okay. cool spell. Okay. So now. that's me. All right, Kyle, what are you doing? You want to go? Yeah, I'm going to okay. search this thing. Okay, cool. One, two, okay. Uh, one of the books looks familiar to you. Search. You pull the books from the shelf and flip through the pages, lingering on a familiar on familiar pictures. You find a chapter that contains useful information. Gain the Arcane Insight spell. I might go insane at this... Uh... <laughs> this next mythos phase. Okay. And uh, what else do you want to do? So just shuffle them up and then you'll just draw the first one if you're going to use it. What do they do though? Uh, you are another investigator within range gains one clue, then flip this card. Yeah. But don't read the backs because like, you'll do a random thing. Yeah. I don't know. But. Okay, then what else are you going to do? Are you moving closer to help me here or what? Um. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna stay in the corner of that room and just hide the whole game. I know, right? I'm gonna try and get here and <laughs> deal with the dog. There's no more dog. You ran away. Maybe it makes him come back. All right, what are you really doing? Is this token still there? I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you still have one action, so. We yeah, go. I guess I should go closer, right? Yeah. One, You're still out of range. You won't two, have to do a okay. horror check. My turn. Uh, one, two. So and you have some, search. like, alternative goal or something, What? Right? Yes, he sure insane. does. Yeah. What? I see. Forgotten behind a barrel of apples is an item that might help you through investigation. Gain the 38 revolver common, common item and discard the search token. So we have searched every single token, yep. except for that one that disappeared on us. So uh, this is a three damage ranged firearm. Oh, All right, so... That's pretty good. Hopefully it works on ghosts. The only thing we didn't do was just read that journal. That's it. 
I know. The one in her possession. Yeah. She's, she's tied team. up with Mr. Team. Carvey. Yeah. No, I know, but like. All right, geez, and the investigator. Like phase. we should have figured this out before this guy came. Of right? course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But oh, yeah. like. Yeah, we still was, don't know how to I'm win. Saying we, we did everything, yeah, but like I still don't know who him. we would have blamed. Mm. That's what it said. Defeat him. Yeah. Was Without our warning. It's like gone into the alternate ending. Without warning, your feet take off under someone else's command. After what seems like hours, you are back where you started. And the exhausted, exhausting trip ends. Each of us here suffers two face down damage, but strength negates. Oh no, that's bad news. Uh, I don't have good strength. Uh, I've negated. I'm good. Uh, one. What is it? Face down damage? Face down damage. You take one face down damage, sir. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Carvey sinks into the ground, disappearing from sight. After a few moments, Spectre reappears. Carvey moves into Gloria Goldberg space, then attacks her. Oh, he's already there. Perfect. The monster attacks. Uh, wow. With a single-minded determination, Thomas Carvey calls out over and over, begging and screaming for your soul. Uh, you're testing your influence. Trying to pass with two. Influence, I have four. Uh, and I will spend a clue to make that a success. If you pass, you confront the spirit, and your words seem calm to calm Carvey's ghost. One investigator within range may discard mesmerized. No, anybody? No. If you fail, blah, 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 blah. Each investigator must resolve a horror check, which is only Just you. Me. Yep. Solve a horror check. Writhing in self inflicted agony, Thomas Carvey slashes at his own tattered flesh. Pain flares through your own body in response. Suffer two face down damage, then become mesmerized. Two face down damage, I think that's. Me wounded here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay. So, so discard all these. And you're now wounded, three, so four, you cannot five, perform six, the move action more than once each round. Okay. When you have suffered damage equal to your health, you are eliminated. Okay. Now we'll shuffle up the mesmerize. And you'll pick one. I'll shuffle those back in a minute. Wish that that was the other way. So right. I could have got rid of it. So we're good. And the Mythos phase. All right. What's next? Whoever's going to go first. I mean, do you want me to go first and attack him again? No, you do whatever you want. I'm and too far to get to anything. Or do you want to come in and attack him once and then I'll try to finish him? Because I could go insane. Mm. Um... This thing is, these are the spells that, like, they... Roll one additional die while a monster is attacking you. Yeah, so... That's that. helpful. Yeah, but look at that gun oh, that has four. Oh, but you want to, like, do this, right? Oh, but you're not very strong. But I can't do a gun when I'm in there, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's what their whole idea is, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, well... F oh, shit. And you can't fire through the door, so you have to come can I, in. Can I move in and then attack? No, I Yeah. Can't. Yes. No, but that's two actions. I want to do an action? No, I can't. I have to go in. I'm going in. Okay. Yeah, thank you. And then what's your other action? <laughs> Yeah, but do I do Arcane Insight? Why? Just to give a clue token? Yeah, you're going to need a clue. Yeah, but you might use that on your no, roll. No. Alright, fine. I'll use my firearm. So you're attacking? Yeah. Thank you. Attack. With a firearm? Yeah. Which one? Well, it's four or three, three right? It yeah. makes yeah. sense. Well, one's a bladed weapon, so it makes a difference. I know. I, I, but it's a ghost. I Which one do you think is better against ghosts? Firearm. Oh. Firearm, sure. Sure. You lift your weapon. Uh, you lift your weapon in unsteady hands, and you're horrified. The barrel drifting closer and closer to your own head. <laughs> oh my goodness! Will is what you want to test. Looking for a pass. Three. Three. Uh oh. That's oh, a that's a, yeah. Uh, so where's the? If you fail, you drop the gun and stagger to the ground, clutching your rebellious hand. Drop the weapon you attacked with. So right. just put it on the floor in the you space. Just put it right center. in here. All right. I don't. Don't I suffer damage? No. No. Nope. I just not an attack. Damage. You just miss. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 And it's right. turned on. Uh, I will attack. Okay. With a spell. As you chant the incantation, you search for some way to strengthen your effects. So what are you doing, Lore? Lore is four. This is going to damage me. Uh, I don't know. Oh my god. I've only seen two of them so far. Uh, I will spend a clue to make it a two. If you pass, you hurl a handful of salt in the spirit's general direction. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result. So seven. And then four, five, six, seven. Put the card. What do you okay. got? Okay. A tremor of searing white pain passes through you. You and each other investigation in your space suffers one face down damage. Okay. So then discard this spell and gain another one. Okay. So let's. All right. What's your second action? 
I'm going to do the same thing. I just want to... Okay. So time with the form. spell? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah. The haunting creature casts doom and gaze upon you, and you call upon your own mystical power to drive it back. So, Laura, you're looking for a two pass. Okay, my Laura is four. Uh, I got two. Uh, if you pass, otherworldly powers rush towards the creature and spectral visage of pain, twist in pain. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result. So, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You couldn't have done any damage on that. Hey, I tried. <laughs> I tried. Flip okay. the spell. Okay. Uh, you feel the pieces of the spell fall effortlessly into place in your mind, and you are frightened by how easy it is to bring pain in an, to, to another being. Suffer two face down horror, then flip one for, horror face up. Shuffle them, and Kylie, pick and one I think I'm going to go up. insane, too. Yeah, I think that has to be seven. Unless one of these discards or something. Uh, nope. No additional effect for this card face down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Okay, discard them all. And I'll do a little cut here. And they should all be good, I think, for three player. Yep. Okay, I'll read that in one sec. Uh, this is then discard this and draw another, so. Okay, so all that's left is me, and I will just go one, two, three, four. All right, so read your card. And we're going to end the investigator phase. Mythos phase. All right. Which scenario? Uh, vengeful impulses from beyond the threshold. Thanks, Benjamin, for joining. Uh, you're suddenly aware of the awful and unstoppable passage of time, obsessively dwelling oh. on your ultimate mortal fate. What? So sorry. I just forgot that I have, I have my mesmerized. I have to see what the alien is doing. Um, nothing is as it should be. Everything must be rebuilt. You must prepare this world for rebuilding. Place fire in your space and discard this card. Sorry. What? Okay. So, uh, oh, okay. So that yeah, we can do that after, right? Well, no. Fire would have spread at the start. So spread okay. the fire. Spread the fire uh, there. Okay. Uh, but we'll turn it on the app in a sec. Yep. Yeah. Because I don't Sorry. think I can from... Oh, yes, I can. All right, sure. Confirm. Okay. You're suddenly aware of the awful and subtle passage of time, suddenly dwelling in your ultimate mortal fate. Each investigator suffers two face on horror, but will negates. Uh, you want more uh, I can take one face on horror, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm good, right? Two? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Uh, you're good. Okay, continue. All right, Thomas Carvey moves one space towards the nearest investigator, then he attacks the investigator in space who has suffered the most horror. Uh, which is Kyle Kyle. Family, so monster attacks. Mm -hmm. Carvey begins walking slowly towards you and you feel a sudden rolling nausea. The urge to flee becomes overwhelming, so test your will. You're looking for two pats. Try to get four because of this. Yes, because the Elder Ward, you get to roll an extra die. Two pass, good. If you pass, you fight back your fear and stand your ground. Good. All right, investigator. Each investigator has to resolve a horror check against the monster. We know who it's against. This guy, confirm. Uh, Thomas Kirby weeps into his hands, and his tears falling through the ground below. You were supposed to save me, he cries. Suffer one face on horror, then flip one horror face up. Both of you. Okay. Suffer one horror, and then randomly pick one there to flip face up. Well, and you suffer one horror, and then obviously it's that only one, flip it face up. Uh, become focused, then flip this card face down. Focus is good. No additional effect, flip this card face down. Okay, and focus is you may discard this card to convert all of the investigations to success when resolving a test. How many do you have? Five? Five. Yeah, I think we're all going to be insane by the end of this one. Cheapers. Okay, done. And the mythos phase, confirm. Okay, he needs two. Do you want to be the killing? Oh, actually. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, Cause he would have taken a damage. Of activating in fires, so that's yes. the other problem. So, boom, he's actually one away. Okay. So, do you want me to go first? Because I'll take a damage, because you don't want to take the damage, right? In case this is the win? Don't let her, she's insane, man. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm thinking. Don't trust her. <laughs> uh, She'll, like, try to can... evade the monster and get hurt on purpose and I die. I think I, want, I should go first. Okay. You'll suffer damage, just so you are aware. That's fine. Okay. Unless you do a move action to get away from the fire, but then you also have to evade the bad guy. It's fine. What's fine? 
You're right. gonna go? Yes. And what's your action? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna attack him. With? With this uh, enchanted blade. So you're gonna suffer, and fire is face, what is it? face what's down, right? Blade? A blade or weapon? Yeah. Do we remember that? Uh, yeah. Whenever you move into space, yeah. fire is face down? Yeah. Sure, I think. I don't know. At the beginning of the missile, space fire spreads. Face down, yeah. Face on damage. Mm -hmm. You swipe at the figure, but it stands unaffected. You recall a supposed means of attacking such a creature, but struggle will. to come to terms with what must be done. You're looking for Will with a two pass. Will sucks. Yeah. Uh, you, you got, got it. it. Mm. If you pass, you press your thumb against the blade, trace a bloody line along the weapon's edge, and stab again. This time to Ooh. devastating effect. The monster suffers damage equal to your test result plus one. Can I? I, I want to use this. Though. Sure. Yeah, you can do that. So yeah. three plus one is four. All right. Bang, bang, bang. He's dead. All right. Perfect. Black bile gushes forth from the spirit's wounds, and the unnatural power binding the house begins to fade. The investigation is complete. Oh. Let's see if we won, though. The ghost of Thomas Carvey wails, his arms clawing at you while he fades away. The last of him to disappear are his eyes, two orbs of hate that fixate on you until they are gone. An oppressive silence fills the room, and the burnt remains of Thomas Carvey lie undisturbed. Look at this grossness. <laughs> lie undisturbed. The burnt remains of Thomas Carvey lie undisturbed before you. You have failed to prevent Carvey's death, but you draw some comfort in the fact that you are able to put his soul to rest. With no evidence to hold against the suspects, once the police arrive, you are forced to let them all go. They settle back into their lives, but you know one of them plots one more attempt. The unholy ritual that ended Carvey's life. The end. Okay, now someone in the chat needs to tell me if I was right and it was Bruce the whole time if we played this. But I wonder if it could be different. It, for... it could be different for sure. 100%. Oh, so we don't know. Nope. But we did we win? Suck. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't say we lost, but it said it just ended. I don't know. Okay, well, do you want to read your insane Yeah, insane so my part? insanity thing, you do not win the game as normal. Instead, at the end of the game, you win if the investigation is not complete, which it wasn't. Otherwise, you lose the game. So I won. But was what? it complete? How do you know? Or was it com No, it was complete. It said, it said it was complete. It was complete. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, I failed. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm good because mine says, you do not win the game as normal. Instead, you win only if the investigation is complete and one other investigator are wounded or insane. Otherwise, you lose the game. And you, you won. won. Yeah. So I lost. You won. Yeah. And Kyle, I think, I think you won. won. Yeah, you won. I think because the investigation was complete. Yeah, it I don't said. Know. I yeah. think so. I think we just went into a totally different end game scenario. Like, nope. Should have read the journals. Oh. Yeah. Maybe that's the other oh, journal. Oh, no. Nope, it wasn't Bruce. Is what he's saying no to? What? No, I I think that I, it can be different people for sure. Every time you play, we know this from Lord of the Rings. These yeah, investigation yeah. scenarios, it, it could be different people, but based on the clues we got, might be similar to someone else's play. And you know when you get those certain clues. Yeah. But we need to read, read that journal. Yeah. So we it. we found that way too late. Well, no, you just didn't read it. I I only had one other turn. That was the I first journal I, we got. The one when you went under. Oh, the cultist journal. Or no, his. No, the one that you when you went underground, you found a journal. That that when when you went through the tunnel. Yeah, but there was two. So that was yeah, you not his journal. No. No, oh. she got she got one journal here and one journal here. Yeah. It was it was here. So she I'm she did that after the electrical after battle. going through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She found it. It was, it was in that room. It was yeah. in that room. Oh. Yeah. It even said in the inventory. It said this is the journal you found in the in the tunnel or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we suck. It was made for us. Oh. We made some mistakes and lost. Uh, yeah, so it could be different. I think in this one it was between those two. But how did you But we lose? were just missing the, the evidence that pointed us one which, or the other. Which direction? And we could have guessed one way or the other, but then we took too long that the ghost came. Yeah, but, and then But I'm all... curious how Omni lost. Like, what? Yeah, how'd you lose, Omni? What, what happened? Yeah, like, did we win or did we lose? I think it said we won. It just the, investigation the investigation is was complete. complete. I don't know if that's a win or loss. I have no idea. We didn't we didn't find the murderer, so in my mind that's a big fail. But, but we killed him. But we just put him to rest. Like that's whatever. Sure. I'm not really. <laughs> I think sure. that was what ha it changed to be our, our yeah, final yeah, thing. But that's what I'm saying. That sucks. You want to put us on the big one? Uh yeah. Hmm. But well, yeah. That was fun. We accuse wrong person and spawn ghost. <laughs> oh, so, okay. So if you accuse the wrong person, you would the just spawn him. Happens? We just didn't get that far. How many, play, how many players did you play with Omni and how much health did he have? <laughs> was it 32 or was it like less health because it wasn't so bad? Or was it like the same? Was it high? 32. I killed yeah. him by myself. It's fine. 
What oh, are you, you, about? you took the final one hit <laughs> of the 32. But it's because spells obviously work good against ghosts, I think. That's yeah, why it was yeah. always a yeah, uh, spell plus result. Yeah, and having the spell that does five is yeah, pretty huge. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, that was cool. That was that an was interesting fun. one. I definitely want to retry that sometime and, and, yeah, try to do better. So there was that first phase where it's go investigate everybody. Mm -hmm. Then darkness comes. Then you got to run around and investigate everything you, you couldn't, where you find people trying to grab what they were trying to grab. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that links anyone to anything. Maybe there's some item that would have told us. I wonder... Well, I wonder if a different item would have disappeared, like, if you play it again. Because oh. remember there's that one that you had to go to before darkness happened. Mm. No, before the light came on, I think. I think when she turned oh, on the yeah, lights, that the light cut short. On. Like, we probably should have left the lights off for a bit longer to, like, get that one last thing or whatever. Yeah, but we had no way of knowing it was going to disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I wonder if we had gone back and looked at... Remember how every time we tried to get an item, it said one shadowy figure, two shadow... We probably should have looked, and then when they said where they were, seen if it matched with how many people... Well, it was, it was one... One and two were here. Yeah, but did somebody else say they were doing something that... So maybe they said two people were going for the sword and we knew there was only one shadow. So somebody, mm. of, you know, uh, could have used that to... Three players, 32 health, ran out of sanity. Uh. Uh, yeah, we almost all went insane in that one. Yeah, so that's interesting. Yeah. Because yeah. if I was to go insane, then that'd be... Uh, you're fine. No, you're no, still no, fine. You keep going. It's fine. So okay. some of the insane stuff doesn't even affect. You could have just had normal whatever, but uh, yeah, like mine, I won the game just like you. It's, it's one. As long as someone else so is now if I went to another eight uh, or higher, and I'm already insane, Thank I'm eliminated. Got it. Got it. Then you have till the end of the next investigator phase to finish it, or it's over and you lose. Yeah, but now do you think replaying this one would be as fun? Because you kind of know where. Mm. Things are like you know there's a secret passage like seen, to the basement. We've, no, we've seen before that it, it it could be laid out completely different, mm -hmm. and the people could be in different spots, and a different person could be a murderer, and could be different clues and stuff. But do you think the main core about like like they said reading the journal? I don't and... know. We would have to play to find out. Mm. Also, the way we ask people certain things in certain orders. You ticked off yeah. Bruce. Like, maybe we would have got different information. <laughs> maybe yeah. we, if we talked to Carvey first, things would have been different. Well, yeah, like, would the lights have gone off sooner or later? Or What's like, the chalk yeah, on the on the picture frame? Yeah, that, we never yeah, found that, that didn't resolve anything It was on either. two things. It was on the pictures in the journal or something, right? There was something written on the journal about trusting someone you trust. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. he, he just mentioned he had chalk. Yeah, never mind. Hmm. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of those Lord of the Rings, Journeys of Middle Earth investigation ones that seem to come by once in a, an adventure or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting because it's not really battle focused. It's more of yeah. of all that clues stuff, all the weapons, and... everything's for just in case we ran out of time and had to fight a ghost. But I wonder what would happen if we found the right murderer. Does that oh yeah, end does that just end or, it? Or does that person all of a sudden go, "Yeah, I was the one doing a ritual and I killed him." Boom! Summon big monsters. Get them, boys. Uh -huh. like, yeah, yeah like you I wonder. Still have to fight this guy somehow. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Maybe we try it again next uh, week. I need a resolution. Like, who was it? The scenario. But we <laughs> don't know now because know, next time play could be different. That's, yeah. No. Do you want to try it again next week? Maybe we'll see. Not the same one. Uh, uh, no, I think we do a few other ones and then come back to it when well, we kind of. It all depends on which yeah, time yeah, this yeah. guy has because there's not many that are this short. I think it's the only two that are that short. But I think that's why they give such a big window because had we found the right person and it did end it, I mean, it could have been yeah, true a lot sooner than now. Mm -hmm. But definitely very cool. All right, well that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit that uh, notification bell so you get alerted next time we go live. Social media links down below so you can also see when we go live there. Um, thank you to our Patreon backers for supporting the channel. Huge thanks. Make the channel keep going. If you'd like to donate or support the channel anyway, the links are in the description below. Thanks to Kyle for being here playing with us and doing that most important blow on the ghost there. <laughs> yeah, know, yeah. He, he did all the work, obviously. Yep. Uh, but yeah, thank you everyone in the chat for hanging out and chatting with us. It was a great time. And yeah, we'll be streaming... Tomorrow night, we're going to be streaming our first episode of Tainted Grail, starting our campaign. So come in and join if you want to check what that game's about. Uh, there's story stuff, could be spoilerish there in the first chapter, but we're only doing the first chapter tomorrow night. So if you want to see how that game plays beyond the tutorial I streamed today, 
Uh, come and check that out. The game looks cool. Most hype game of the year. $8 million on Kickstarter. All that business. So, uh, yeah, check that out. We'll be here tomorrow doing that. And then the next day, I think on Friday, or Thursday, Halloween, I'm going to be probably doing Too Many Bones uh, stream in the afternoon uh, playing. So come join us then. Uh, Eastern time, all of this. But, yeah, thanks a lot for being here. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.